What's up, everybody? How you doing? What a great evening. Hello to uh, DDK's in the house. Salty Badger, Fat Glide. Big Mike 135 is here. Uh, let's see. Evil Rick, Bry the Biker. Welcome. Uh, the Frogzilla. Evil Rick, I think I already said you. Dark Souls Corner's in the house. What's up, Dark Soul? Uh, let's see. I, I think I got everybody. Uh, I hope so. If I missed you, I'm sorry. I apologize. So, yeah, man, there's really nothing to talk about tonight. Um, however, we're just going to have a, uh, a round robin, shoot the shit, you know, and just talk about everything and anything under the sun. Today, or I should say the past two days, I was actually able to get back out on the bike. Riding season is upon us. I'm sure you're excited about riding season. Yeah, I need more days like yesterday, though. Yeah, more days like well. yesterday. That'd be great. It was kind of weird today. Cool. Yeah, it was kind of cool and and, and uh, kind of uh, dreary, but I still got out on the bike. Well, it got gray yep. this afternoon. Hey, DeWitt's up here. Dean's in here. Hello. Good evening. 701 Traveler. Hello. Yeah. So, um, you know, speaking of which, you know, we're going to, you know, talk about getting your bikes ready. Hopefully everybody's getting their bikes ready. Hope if you haven't done so already. One of the things you want to do for a safety aspect is take a look at your oil, your, your oil, of course, but your tire pressure. You definitely want to take a look at your tire pressure because you know with the change of temperatures you're going to lose uh pressure in your tires not because of lakes but because of temperature you know with the change of five degrees you're going to lose one psi um you know so take a look at your tire pressure check your oil make sure there's no moisture in your oil uh how you can tell is if you pull your dipstick out if it looks uh like a milkshake not good, uh, unless you're using Redline, then that's a different story. So, you know, take a look at your, just go over and clean your bike. Take a look at it. Make sure everything's good. Hello, Dallas. How are you? Dan Big, is a bull, bull. Yep. <laughs> Mike's ready to roar. There you go. There you go on that beautiful <laughs> rogue line of his. Um, I was babysitting it for a while. And I was tempted to do a burnout on it, and I never did. Uh, because it's not my bike, so but it's a 135 and you can definitely do it. Uh, let's see, he says my brake lights are stuck on. Oh man, that's that's awesome. Hey, Greg, how you doing? So, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna open this up to an open mic night. Uh, let's talk about motorcycles, motorcycle events, motorcycle fun. Uh, my oh, I should have. Damn it, now you tell me. Oh man. I should have done it. Maybe Dave did. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, maybe Dave. May, maybe Dave <laughs> did a burnout on your bike. Who knows? Sorry for the V Rider. How are you? It's killing me. What's that? I said I. I see all the stupid ass faces I'm making. Sorry, my back hurts. Ah, it's all right. You'll be fine. <clears throat> uh, you should have totally done it. Yeah, I should have had Mel out there with the camera. <laughs> oh, uh, I can smell the rubber again. Yeah. yeah. Next time, I, I'm babysitting that bike. I will do a burnout. I'm wearing a gas mask next time. It stank. Yeah, move. But I'm not first. buying a tire. Yeah, move your move your car first. Yep. Hey, riding on three Tennessee. How are you? Good to see you here tonight. So, yeah. You know, I've been having a lot of fun. I've been out on space ball, and I was out on the road glide today. And uh, big jib, what's going on? Uh oh, Mister Lone Cowboy, what's going on? Hey, what's how you guys doing? Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Good. Okay, I want to make sure my microphone was hooked up. Uh, events, events coming up. Missouri, you know. Missouri. Uh, Missouri is a thing. Well, Arkansas actually, Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. The spring fling. I understand that's a great and, time. Uh, I'd love to get out there one time. That's, that's the big that thing coming one? up. Oh, I enjoyed uh, I enjoyed your videos down there in uh, Daytona and stuff. Oh, Everybody thank you. That was down there. That was cool. You know. Yeah, we had a I, great time. I would have loved to had the time to take an iron butt and, and come down there and see you guys. You know. 
<laughs> yeah. But as you can tell, I'm in the go kart headed home. So usually I'm on the motorcycle headed home. But yeah, well, you know, it is what it is, right? Yeah, yeah. So I have been seeing some more bikes out. I run. Uh, I drive from Kansas City to Kearney, Nebraska, and I've seen some bikes packed up traveling west, and and uh, had a couple of them pass me today. I don't know up there around Grand Island, Nebraska. They were probably running about 85 down the down the interstate, just just cruising. One of them was a road glide, and the other one was a I don't know if that was a Pan America or not. I couldn't tell. They were they flew by me so darn fast, but but yeah, I'll be down there at the Spring Fling, and then. Uh, I got to make a decision. I'm either going to go to uh, Panama City uh, or Pensacola area, or I'm going to go to Texas, the Austin area from the Spring Fling. And uh, there you go. Yeah, just travel. Well, I know on the bike. I know there's a, a big meet and greet. Uh, XAN is going to be there. Um, my, I'm having a brain cramp right now. Who's going to be there? Uh, quite a few YouTubers are going to be there. At the cat house, um, I recommend you get there, check it out. Yeah, I'll be leaving here on the 19th and traveling down there. I've already got reservations, and of course, I'm registered for Adam's ride down there. Nice. That's going to be my very first group ride. Yeah. Uh, besides, you know, the four or five guys I, I ride around here with and whatnot. Yeah. So I'm a little nervous. I won't yeah, lie. No, <laughs> Well, you know, I always get nervous when I go on big road trips on the bike because you only got two wheels. Right, right. Well, and as far as the group ride as a first timer, I guess I guess I should ride in the back of the pack, correct? <laughs> Actually, the way I like to ride, if I'm riding with new people never been in the group, I put them up front. Really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. This way I keep an eye on them. Right. Whoops. Yep. Busted Knuckles is going to be there too. Cool. Riding in the Ozarks is going to be there uh, with Firecracker. Yep. So I think Friday night somewhere they're supposed to have a get together. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll have to do some research on that. Yep. Uh, creators get together at some other besides a cat house. I, I've, dude, my mind is just scrambled because trucking all day 600 630 miles a day is just you know my Ouch. mind is on the highway and and you know and it just drive home on top yeah <laughs> yeah i drive i live about 35 miles from the terminal so it's not bad but no, there you go it's, it's a lot better when i'm on two wheels and listening to my you know uh music on the way back home you know so yeah so what kind of music do you listen to you know I li I listen to uh, country, country rock, heavy metal. I I grew up on both sides of the fence, kind of. So See, you were supposed to say both kinds of music, country <laughs> yeah. and western. I listen right, to country, right. metal, and everything. Right, uh, <laughs> mostly. Everything. You know, I got turned on to five fi five finger. Yep. Uh, uh, great you know concert. what I'm talking about? Five yeah. finger death punch. Yes, because you know. I don't know what it was to support the veterans and stuff like that, you know, and, and just some of their easy going metal that I can yep. relate to, you know? Oh, so, absolutely. Oh yeah. Cause there's a lot of stuff going on in my head. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, but I just want to jump on and say hi doc. I mean, I, it's been I, a while, forgive bro. me. I, I don't, I'm bad with, with names. So if any of you all are down there at Eureka Springs, I'll probably have my cowboy hat on and if I'm in the bar or whatever, if I make it there, uh, which I'm sure I will, you know, just come up and say hi. Uh well, I won't know. be there, but I'll just say hi now. How's that? Right. Well, anybody in the chat, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I've met yep. XAN Biker and that was over in St. Louis and oh my gosh, that was a trip. Yeah, he's a good I, dude. Yeah. I mean the, the 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 event over there, the bike show and stuff. I, I yep. didn't. We didn't stay long. I mean, I could. I can't take to be crowded like this. You I know, kind of like uh, Ray's Moto Life. You know, I I can't stand to be cramped. You know, I've talked to him a few times, and 
yep. about the crowds and whatnot. So yeah, yeah, he was down at Daytona. Yep. So yep. anyway. Anyway, well, I'll let y'all go, and I just wanted to jump on and say hi, and uh, y'all be safe. Stay out of yep, trouble. You too. you too. Say hi to a stranger. We'll talk That's to y'all later. Yep, later. <laughs> so that was Lone Cowboy Adventures. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, go ahead and check them out. Check him out. He's got some pretty good videos. They're entertaining. I, I enjoy them. Uh, I follow and watch him as well. So that he's a good dude, as you can see. But uh, big shout out to our uh, hardwire one percenter. What's up? What are drunk PJs, Dallas? Pictures of beer on your pants? I think those are the Whataburger pajamas. Do they have a picture of a burger and the thing of beer? No, I think they just say Whataburger all over. Oh, they should have little burgers on them. You know, that'd be funnier. Yeah, <clears throat> unless, <laughs> unless Dallas is talking about something else about drunk PJs, we'll find out. Ladies draws. We'll find out in about a month. <laughs> Ladies draws. Yep. About uh, <laughs> uh, a month away, we're going to be leaving to go to Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Be hanging out with Dallas and Iron Butterfly for a few days. And then we head up to uh, the TMMR, which, which will be great. Having all sorts of fun. Uh, Big Mike 135 will be there. Uh, Fact like Kelp Fire will be there. A whole bunch of people are going to be there. So, yeah. Shots. Yeah. Hey. Jeez. So, yeah. Hey, welcome to the channel, Hardwire. Much appreciated. Uh, I try and get special guests on when I can. Uh, Programs. Yep. So, yeah. Shots. Want to grab shots? But most of my Shot channel is. Morning. You know, how to's when I'm working in the shop and all that. So, yeah, okay, she's getting shots, guys. Hey, Miss Keltfire, how are you? Keltfire. You know, yeah, looking forward to it. So are we. I can't wait. I'm going to TMMR full bougie style. I mean, I can't get any more bougie. I'm going to be, uh, Mel and I are going to be jumping on a plane. We'll be flying out to uh, Nashville. We're going to be picked up at Nashville Airport, and we're going to be hanging out with Dallas and Penny. He's giving us a bike to ride. A big mistake. But, however, if I break it, I fix it. Um, and then we're headed up. And then when at the end of the rally, we're going to jump on a plane and fly home. That's pretty bougie. Big Mike says he can't wait either. Yep. And Kel Fire can't wait to see Mel and Penny. Yeah, we, you three girls, it's going to be, uh, I don't know if I got enough bail money. Uh, hey, yeah. speaking of what we're doing, down I'm about to hold sleep because I'm not going up and down all damn night. You won't be able to stray mm -hmm. from TMR Rally, could it? Uh, uh, so my VA point goes south. Oh, okay. Uh, you're going to be down this way. I won't be able to stay for the TMMR. Couldn't get work off unless. Okay, gotcha. Uh, special guests or yeah, <laughs> special. I'm the special one. With the hockey helmet. Yeah, I need a hockey helmet here, you know? And something to keep you from preventing mm. from you licking windows? No, nope, yeah. Nope. So, yeah. <sighs> uh, let's see. So, yeah, we'll put this link back out here. So, Ohio here just actually started to warm up a little. Yeah, same here in Connecticut. Um, it was beautiful yesterday. Yeah, yesterday it hit 71, 71, which was awesome. Yeah, and was I was on Spaceball. Thing. First time I rode it mm -hmm. since I put the uh, ten inch risers on it and the new seat, which I'm really happy with both of them. Got to break it in a little though. Yeah, yeah. I got to break it in like all no seats. Lesson. Um, I was on <laughs> my road glide today with the new Advan Black Quest seat. First time I rode that bike with that seat. So. Oh well, no, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday, but that was quick. Still right. Yeah, Sunday was cold. It, it was 50, but it was a raw 50. It was damp. Yeah, it was Very it was damp. damp. So the cold went right to our bones. So we went to brunch. <laughs> we turned around and came it was home. Really good brunch, too. Then I took a nap. Yep. With the cat. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Hey hey, Mr. Gremlin. Greetings. Gremlin. Oh. Yeah. 
So, yeah, I mean, guys, always make sure your bikes are ready to ride uh, at the beginning of springtime. It's really the time you really want to go through, check out your bike. Uh, I usually start at the front, or you could do uh, T-clocks. I forget what it stands for, but I, I start with the tire pressure in the front tire. I look at the tread. I look at the the uh, manufacturing data on the tire. I check my front brakes. I go around. <laughs> I look for leaks and everything. So, and then I work my way all the way to the back of the bike. And while I'm there, I'm cleaning it and looking for any potential problems that might come up or any problems that did come up during the downtime or the beating that went on the bike when I was down in Daytona. So, hey, Marvin the Martian, hello. Is he going Welcome. to blow up the earth? Uh, <laughs> let's see. Apparently, I need to start with voltage. Yeah, voltage is a good thing. You want to have battery voltage, you know. Uh, I just rode home North Dakota and back. Wow. Where do you live? Plus crazy. Wow. Seven. Wow. What? Yeah. Three whole oil change beginning every season. Uh, no, I don't say you waste it because with temperatures changing, unless you're in a, um, a climate controlled area for your bike, with the change of temperatures, you're going to create condensation, which will get into your motor, your trans, your primary. And changing it will get rid of that and put it start off fresh. I do that myself as I'll change the oil, but if like my road glide, it's at eleven thousand miles, and I just changed the oil a thousand miles ago. But at fifteen thousand, I'm going to change it again, just to keep it on that five thousand miles uh, uh, cycle. I'm sure the fluctuating temperatures doesn't help. Yes, warm, cold, warm, cold. Yep. So, yep. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's a good reason to change your oil at the beginning of the season. Yeah, Gremlin says a deep cleaning will tell you a lot. Absolutely. Absolutely. Make sure you check your belt tension. Uh brakes is always a good thing. Tires. Make sure your voltage is up on your battery. Make sure your charging system works uh by using a voltmeter <clears throat> and measure the voltage at the battery. You should be right around 14.1 to 14.4 volts. That's when you know everything is very happy. If it's below 14 volts, you got the beginning of a problem that's happening, or you have a big stereo in there, which prevents that from happening too. Uh, let's see. Uh, tell them you're not paying for it. And it's your boy. Yeah. He's got an issue going on. Um, so yeah. Oh, let's see. Ryan three. So I got, uh, Thousand miles already, yeah, yeah. Well, you rode to and from Daytona, so you know that's. Are you including that miles, or is that after Daytona? You know, like uh, the from... hot video Tweedle did was just oh, yeah. I don't. I didn't see a hat video. Yes, I missed that one. I saw yeah. a feet video. Hey, Rick. Good to see you. Welcome. Uh, just trying to sell merchandise. Okay. South, just south of Canton, uh, the Hall of Fame city. Hall Not, of Fame for, for baseball? No, that's in New York. Okay. Basketball Hall of Fame is Mass, Mass. Springfield. It might be the Football Hall of Fame. I have no idea. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is that the Football Hall of Fame? Yeah. Oh, that's since April 1st. Gotcha. Football. Okay. Yep. All right. I was going to say, wait a minute. Yep. The Football Hall of Fame. <clears throat> awesome. I thought it was kind of funny watching the inductees this year. And they inducted Peyton Manning. And he was introduced by his father. Football and Eli Manning's sitting in the, in, in, out in the crowd going, I didn't get in. Oh, I'm thinking. Eli Why didn't Manning. I get in? Because he had too many interceptions. Yeah, because he's lame. So, you know, yeah, I really not. A, I'm a Giants fan, but I'm not an Eli Manning fan. I always said he was one of the most overrated quarterbacks ever in the NFL history. 
And don't tell me he got the Giants two Super Bowls because he did not. The first Super Bowl with Eli is because of David Tyree, the only play he ever made. The helmet catch. Yep, the helmet catch in his whole NFL career came in at a, at a clinch moment. And then the second one is they won is because of defense by putting uh, ah, Miss Penny Brady on his back. And it says, oh, I loved making Brady cry. Yep. It was the best. Hello, Miss Penny. Hey, Steve Turner, how are you? Ooh. It's all over the place. Sometimes it doesn't work, and other times it's peaking around. Wow, 17 volts. That's over voltage. Oh. Yeah, that's not good. Yes. No negative. <laughs> Well, no negative giant even, talk. I don't even hey, I'm a realist. I, I've been a giant fan my whole life, and ah, oh, I don't know why, but yeah, at least I'm not a Dallas fan. And a Cowboys fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. So, uh, yeah, but I'm looking forward to a great riding season. I mean, this year we'll be at TMMR. Then after that, we're going to the Hoot and Nanny. Uh, the redneck rally. Looking forward to that. Um, will there be a hoedown? It'll be a. There, there <laughs> might be, but uh, just so everybody knows, I mean, everybody talks about how great the uh, tail of the dragon is. Well, this is a hundred and thirty mile loop with over thirteen hundred turns, and I am so <laughs> looking for, forward to that. Even Dallas hates the Cowboys. I don't think anybody likes them. Oh, Some. except for the Cowboys. So but, at least they're doing better than Giants right yep. now. So I just bought Excel Super Coils, uh, the uncolored natural ones on clearance everywhere for 30 bucks. Shoes is nice. That's a steal. That's a steal. But yeah, I'm looking forward to going to Hoot Nanny. 1300 turns and 130 miles. That's going to be a good day. There's a lot of nice roads in yep. West Virginia. But maybe we'll see them on there. And after that, we'll be back in Gettysburg. We're going to be there Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and coming back on Sunday, which is going to be a great time. Hopefully no rain. Hopefully no rain. But if you guys aren't going to Gettysburg or VAM that very same weekend, hopefully you'll be going up to the Baggers and Brews Tunnels for Tower event. Uh, it's a fundraiser for a veterans organization. And my hat's off to Bert and George for doing this. And so, you know, I hopefully they beat their goal for donations for Tunnels for Towers. I hope so. Uh, let's see. He says, I have an extra ground, I guess, wire going to the regulator. Hmm. Extra? Why would you have extra? Maybe you want to clean your ground connection so, you know, any corrosion or anything like that's off. Um, I can only assume they can't get rid of the uncolored ones. Yeah, probably. Um, however, you know, when it comes to, you know, parts of, hey, uncolored is, is cheaper. I'll go with uncolored because it's all about, you know, yeah, let's see. Cheerleaders never heard of them. Yeah. You say that because Penny's watching. Uh -huh. I have 12 left turns and three right turns to the bar. <laughs> How many when you had several? Been get, yeah, uh, <laughs> mostly when I was younger. Amazing. How much more appreciate you? Yes. Yeah, uh, this will be my fourth year going to Gettysburg Bike Rally, I think it is. Was last year your first year going with me? Yes. Yeah, okay. No, it's my third then. Yeah, it's my third straight year going to Gettysburg for Bike Week. This year, our friends, Drowning Pool, yes. is going to be playing Saturday night. And we were invited to hang out with Drowning Pool and Saliva. So I definitely going to be doing <laughs> that. So, yes, love the Cowboy Cheerleaders. I actually got to fly around the New England Patriot Cheerleaders. <laughs> And I rocked back in 2009, and that was a lot of fun. I'm not a Patriots fan, but I'm a cheerleader fan. I'll say that with her sitting right here. Oh, speaking of shots, here. They've been sitting around. I know they've been sitting here. Would you like one? Sure. Awesome. We're doing shots. So, hey. Oh, you there? Hey, yeah, I'm the, there's a toast to everybody in the side chat. 
thank you for coming on, hanging out. I appreciate you all. Yes, the lead singer did die, I think, in the early 2000s. Driving yeah. pool. Yes. I mean, somewhere in the 2000s. Yes, they replaced the lead singer because uh, he died of a heart issue. Mm hmm Ooh, cold brew. There. We'll put that in the recycle. Actually, we should save and put Christmas lights in them. We could do that. And then hang them up out, outside. On the mini tree. Yes. I'll hang them on the mini tree, and then the cat yep. could, like, play with them. Let's see. He better say that was on the only <laughs> tree he liked. Oh, I bet. That's why he married you. Uh, we saw them. Uh, yeah. yeah, the original uh, singer did die. Uh, we saw them last year, too, at Catskill Mountain Thunder. Mount was, Thunder. Was a great concert, so yeah, they put on a great show. Really um, Adelita's Way started. They were very good. They, they, were, they sound awesome. They too. sounded great. Drowning Pool played. They sounded great. And then Saliva played all the same night. It was a, a great night. And we were maybe 10 feet from the stage, right up against the barriers. And uh, CJ pointed out to me in the, in the stands, out in the crowd and says, what's up, bro? And I was like, yeah, right on. <laughs> we were right in front. That was yeah, awesome. That was awesome. Uh, damn, Skippy. Oh, yeah, That's you sick. have to be athletic. I, Same thing I'm colorblind, so it doesn't matter why your color. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Let's see. Let's Penny see. is all that. Yes, she is. Let's see, cheerleaders are athletes, so kudos to those ladies. Yeah, them yep. and gymnasts. Yeah. Oh my God, the flipping around. You get hurt really bad doing yep. that. Sounds like one of the concert nights at the chip. Yeah, but at Catskill Mountain Thunder, there was no extra charge. There was a chick on a stripper pole. She was really athletic. Yeah, they, they had girls on around. stripper poles too cool. for a drowning pole. So I was like, yeah, right on. They, yeah, they were swirling yeah. around. It was pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Only time I was ever super close at a concert was Slayer. Nice. I remember Slayer. Yep. Yeah. And those, we're dating ourselves. I thought for sure I was going to be deaf when I left. That's oh. why I wear earplugs. Yeah. And it was an outdoor concert. I still wear earplugs. But and Gettysburg's an outdoor concert, but we're going to be hanging with the band. So that's going to be fun. Uh, let's see. I'm tearing away. Pieces are falling. Yeah. Can't me up. Mm hmm. That's a great song. Uh, let's see. Says, I think Colt Ford had a heart attack, so they won't. Yeah, that that sucks that Colt oh, Ford won't guy. be there. Yeah. And, you know, hopefully um, their medical issues get straightened out and everybody will be okay. You I know? did track and field, Penny. <laughs> I was too wired. That's why I age. can't move at 50 years old gymnastics and cheer days. I have bad news. Yeah, I tried jumping out of splits. a perfectly good airplane with uh, all your gear. And landing on the ground. Yeah, that's knees and shins. My shins are shot. Knees, back, shins, shoulders, I, everything. I hurts. did a lot of stupid stunts with my uh, brother too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Come on, jumping off the roof. Into DDK the boat is pool. taking place singing. Oh, okay. How drunk do we got to get DDK? DMMR. So there's an extra M. Is they? Does that mean it's good or scary or how much blue no, is involved? No, DMMR. There's yeah. no extra M. Tennessee Motorcycle Music oh, Revival. My brain. Never mind. Sorry. Does he sing good or scary? I don't know. We'll find out. This is the only concert oh. as loud as Black Label Society. Right on. Okay. With Zach Wild. Zach Wild's awesome. Yes. He played for Ozzy. Yep. And he lives here in Connecticut and he uses the same Harley dealer as I do. I'm hoping to bump into him there one day. Uh, let's see. Yes, I saw that. You, I'm, I'm glad you got oh, your boots. Yeah. Everybody got everybody got their packages. I, I think yesterday. Yes, I think so. Yeah, or the day before. Tried. All of the people won everything out of the mystery box. Um, but I have another potential giveaway <laughs> coming up. I'm gonna just so everybody knows, I'm getting one of those battery powered air pumps coming to me. Uh, it's given to me. I'm gonna do a video review of it, and then I'm gonna give it away. Who's that? Riding on three? Riding, come in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I didn't see you down there. What's going on? I saw it. I know, but can you hear me all right? I can I'm hear you. Just how, long so. you how long were you sitting in the back in the green room? Oh. 
Wow. A couple minutes, maybe. You need to drink some more. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm having to use a laptop, so can't exactly not exactly sure how well it's sounding. So, yeah, what's going on? A thousand miles since April first. That's awesome. That's yeah, <laughs> did the video. Finally, was able to get it done for the eclipse today. Put it out, and then also traffic going just from Hopkinsville, Kentucky to Paducah, which is normally about 45 minutes to an hour ride, ended up taking almost two and a half hours because of the traffic. And it was just like a dead standstill. <laughs> but I ended up being able to get to Four Rivers Harley Davidson, which is a cool looking. Harley dealer. It's shaped oh, cool. like a riverboat. Oh, cool. so, oh, wow. Yeah, I definitely like, I definitely enjoyed being there. Is that on the Mississippi River then? It sits just before you cross the Ohio River. Oh, okay. So it's right there where Paducah sits almost right where the Mississippi and Ohio meet up. Almost right there at the area. Yep. And then I rode. To avoid most of the traffic coming back to the house, because I actually went straight from Paducah all the way back to the house after the eclipse and uh, ended up taking 68 to bypass the interstate for a good chunk. And it still took me too long. <laughs> yep. So what I do when there's traffic is I go right down the breakdown lane. Well, that's easier when you're on twos. It's a little bit harder when you're on threes. I did it on hers when she had the freewheeler. Well, yeah, if you're talking about the emergency lane, yeah, but at the same time, though, it's kind of hard, though, when you got the troopers every mile and a half, two miles, sitting there watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that, that could be a, a damper in your ride. Yeah, Just a little bit, plus me having to explain it to work how come I got a ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you tell them you got a ticket because you the cops were prejudiced against motorcycles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't have your seatbelt on. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and I forgot my steering wheel at the house. <laughs> there you go. Granted, I am still actually waiting for my package from Ed Van Black. Oh, okay. So, yes, I did order something small for the time being. Yeah, small. Well, there it's probably going to be about. I don't want to hear about your long. Toy. It's about twelve inches long, maybe. But <laughs> again, I don't want to hear about your sex toys. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I will say it'll make the bike look better. Yes, Dad, hey, you know, really do. You know, I I I put an order in Advan Black yesterday myself. I ordered the uh, carbon fiber hand guards. Oh, with cool. The, with the turn signal inlays for space ball. God damn oh, nice. <laughs> and actually, Ghost. It's only in on our I was actually seriously thinking about looking into possibly getting a set of those for the bike myself in the wintertime when I'm riding yep. in the wintertime. But okay. I think what I may end up having to do is go maybe two more inches up on the bars in order for me to be able to make sure that they clear the fairing mm -hmm. would be probably about my only thing that I would have to possibly do is what I'm thinking. But I think I'm going to go with your idea of saying that the inner fairing probably is interchangeable because I did talk to a couple of the guys at the shop when I took the bike in for the 65 K and the shop guy, as well as the park manager, both said that it should, in theory, be the exact same thing. They don't know why it's listed different. Yeah. I don't know either. Um, could be that you have the uh, the screws for the wind deflectors and regular street glides don't. Huh, I didn't think about that. That's possibly it. Yeah, that could possibly be. But that's not yeah, a showstopper. Sure. You could do what I did is yeah, you pull them up, you mark it, you drill your holes, put little uh, mm -hmm. nuts and bolts, and they're on. Yeah. You know? I mean, heck, even if a black makes a set that you can order from them, 
that color matched the bike anyways. So, I mean, they, got, they have the mounting hardware and everything. Hey, Wayne, how's it going, Daz? Yep. But, I mean, for me, though, like I mentioned, when, it, when you had that, um, Alan on, that there's some parts that Advan Black does sell that are usable on trikes. You just yep. have to get creative with what you're aware. <laughs> yes. Yeah, squeeze our ass. <laughs> <laughs> plenty of dealers. Oh yeah, plenty, plenty of aftermarket places. But I got those. Remember the risers I bought down in Daytona? They look yeah, angry. I finally got those on the bike, and I rode the bike yesterday. The first time with those risers, and my custom seat came in. Oh, nice. Yeah. So you actually finally got it in the mail, finally as well. Uh yeah. They told me four to six weeks for it to ship, and I was like. With Daytona, I'm thinking six to eight. And they're like, no, four to six. I says, okay, whatever. And <laughs> I got it in less than four, uh, four weeks. Nice. From Corbin out in California. Yeah, that was pretty quick. Oh, so yeah. that came from California, not Florida. Right. Florida is nice. a showroom and okay. stock sales. Do they have a California dealer? Yeah, that's oh, where they make all that. the custom stuff is out in California. Oh, oh okay, cool. So, um, you know, the seat is a lot more comfortable than the settlement step up, but it has to get broken in. So I'm really happy about that. And, uh, you know, and I'm really happy with the, the seating position, riding position now on Spaceball with the 10 inch risers. Oh, yeah. I bet it probably looks even better now, too. I think yes. I've seen a, I think I've seen one picture that you posted on Facebook earlier i think either yesterday or maybe today yeah i posted I seeing one it. up on instagram yesterday at the parking lot at work okay that's what it's it's take your best friend to work day <laughs> yeah i've done that today yeah i took my other bike to work today so which granted a lot of people were looking at me asking me if i was crazy or not i was like why they go you know it's supposed to rain today go, okay yeah prop point they go, no, 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 no. It's supposed to be storming when we get off. I was like, okay, and your point. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> well, and so, I mean, I confused some people at work today because they're like, was that your motorcycle out there yesterday? I said, yeah, it was. Wasn't it black and gold? I'm like, yeah. Well, is that your motorcycle out there today? I'm like, yeah. No, it's my cats. They're like, how many bikes do you have? I said, two. One. Tell them for one for each day of the week. And well, I actually had some per <laughs> one person at work one time asked me, "Why do you have two motorcycles?" I said to him, "Well, why do you have two kids?" I like to keep it in your kids. It's because I want it and because I can. Because I have no kids. Yeah, there you go. One of our former uh, assistant directors who left, he looked at me one day, and goes, "Oh, I love motorcycles, but uh, uh, you know." Oh, they're they're dangerous. I says, "Oh, you mean your wife won't let you have one?" He goes, "Exactly." <laughs> she has right. a car too. Yep. Probably. I mean, heck, I know. I've got a couple family members that get nervous whenever they see my videos, my TikToks, and stuff of me and the daughter at the dealerships because they're just waiting to see which bike's going to be next. They know there's one coming. They just don't know which one I'm going to pick yet. <laughs> I, I know which one you're going to get. The Rogue Light 3. <laughs> mm. That is cool looking. Honestly, I'm trying to avoid another truck. I will say that. I'm okay. trying my best to avoid another truck. At least for now. Out. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't mind the Rogue Light 3 at all. Because if I actually go with another truck, it will be a Rogue Light 3. Yep. Simply because it does have more, I guess you would say, aftermarket parts for it and customizability mm -hmm. for it compared yep. to the triglides. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, and I'm wanting the next bike will be customized quite a bit. Well, I mean, you could go with Dirty Bird. They make fenders and all that now. Yeah, that's true. You know, but I'm kind of sort of hoping and kind of holding out to see what Advan comes out with. Yeah, 
Well, first I got to do a, a market research to see if there's actually a market for them to make it sensible. Oh, I guarantee you there is. Oh, yeah. I mean, Dirty Bird's dealership. Doing it. I watched the dealership truck roll in when I was doing the 65K. And even the oh. salesperson made the comment that it's the first time that the dealership down at Mountain Creek in Dalton. Mm -hmm actually had a total of 12 trikes inside the showroom floor and that was after they had already sold three the day before they ended up getting two more new trikes on the truck that day oh wow and as i was fixing to leave they were doing a deal on one of the trikes that they already had there so i mean they're and the guy sat there made the comment he was actually surprised he goes Oh, he goes, what's so nice about the trikes? I go, what do you mean? Because he had, he pulled me aside and asked me, he goes, it just seems awkward how all these people are buying trikes all of a sudden. I go, once you realize you can have close to as much fun on a trike as you can a normal bike, and you ain't got to worry about having to put your feet down, worrying about balancing it, especially if you got balance issues or back issues or leg issues or anything else. You come to realize this really isn't a bad situation. It's actually quite fun. Now that's not yeah. saying that the kits, the kit trikes, they're a little bit more finicky. But one from a dealership, you can't go wrong with them. We had friends down in South Carolina that do trikes. They do a pretty good job, though. Yeah, they they'll take uh, they, uh, the two wheels and use the Franken trike kit. Yeah, yeah. they're still pretty stout with theirs. theirs and if you right haven't away. seen the Franken trike kit, check them out because they are awesome looking. They're really cool. They're, yeah, all billet aluminum. Uh, yeah, it's, the, the, it's limitless of what you can do with that kit as far as, you know, wheels, tires, fenders, tail lights. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, it, it's limitless. And, you know, you could spend... An, an obscene amount of money with that kit. I mean, I'm talking real obscene. I'm, I think he said, he told me he paid two grand just for his custom wheels. Yeah. For the back, just for the back. Yeah. Thousand I remember saying that. I remember, and I think they even had an option to even do independent suspension, depending on what you were going with tire wise, because it based on the tires depends on whether or not you actually want independent suspension or not. Yep. Yep. And XN. I was gonna say, and Zan just recently done done his bike. Yep. Yep. Well, actually, it's not a trike; it's a four wheeler, because he's got yeah. three in the back. And one <laughs> I <up> told him. <laughs> I was sitting there. I made, I made the comment when he posted it. I was like, "Oh, welcome to the three. Oh, never mind. The four wheel club, <laughs> which is fine. Oh, which yeah. is fine. At least it's not the slingshot, which is a car. Yeah. yeah, that is actually technically a car. I consider it a car. It's got a steering wheel and seat belts. It's yeah. so, I mean, is what it is. Three wheeled car. Flip the blue moon. What's up, man? So, yeah, I mean, so you've been you've been riding since April first. Well, you're in Tennessee. I'm in Connecticut. No, I've been riding nonstop year round. No, well, yeah. I mean, there was the snow video that I actually was able to ride on the bike with. <laughs> Finally, for a change. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the trikes probably could get away with that a little bit better. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely can do that real nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, it's Jason. Nice. Knows. Hello. How are you? Good evening. Hey, Jason. Tar is awesome. But I know I'm still working. I figured out me and the dealership and the sale and the uh, maintenance manager, We I got to call them back. Because they told me give them a couple of weeks and see what they can come up with. But I did find out that the traction control issue that I've got to be able to disengage the RDRS mm -hmm. on the trike to actually give the H2 performance a run for their money. Yeah. Um, it's actually a software issue between the COSO gauges and the bike. Yep. It wasn't a plug issue being or something not getting plugged back in or anything like that it was actually it's actually just a software issue hmm. and myself and the dealership have been talking back and forth to Coso about it and they said that they're still trying to work on it 
because they know there's several people that's recently been getting in contact with them about the issue. Because, I mean, after all, I like the gauges. I'm not going to really get rid of the gauges. If I have to try to figure out what fuse to pull out of the bike to disengage the RDRS, so be it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as far as gauges go, I've had the Dakota Digitals. Mm -hmm. They're nice-looking gauges, but they don't always function too well. I didn't uh, – you said the Dakota ones, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I went with the Coso ones. Okay. I, and I did see the Dakotas. I just didn't like the darkness of the colors on them a whole lot. And I wasn't sure how that would show up in the daylight. And well, they show up fine during the day. The problems I was having with mine was it would not always show the correct gear that you were in. Oh, so okay. I'm cruising down the highway, and I'm in sixth gear, and it's displaying fourth. Oh, God. Or it would lose the time. So the only way to reset it is to go back into the app with your phone. Oh, okay. So, yes. you know, I'd set the time and I'd go to work and I'd get out of work. And it was like, you know, the same time I went in. <laughs> Eight hours yeah, that kind of puts a damper on your day, wouldn't it? Be like, oh, dang, I don't want to go yeah. back in. Don't even remind me it's time to go back to work. So I went in there and I disabled the clock on it. Um, you know, you could change things around. The gear indicator I disabled. I turned that off because it wasn't accurate. Um, let's see. Uh, you know, I, I just, I like the fact that in the small little pods on the side, you could split those to do two different readings. Um, like you could do battery voltage, oil temp on one head temp on another with, uh, fuel percentage, you know, just really get more information I like that. But. And I like the fact that the color options of customizing them to whatever color you want was great. And um, other than that, you know. I'm curious. Did they actually have a daytime and nighttime color option where you can change the yeah, color? Yeah, they have a high contrast change mode. automatically? Yes, you could set okay. it to high contrast mode, uh, which I honestly don't like the high contrast mode. No, I wasn't talking about the, the contrast colors. I'm talking like going from like an orange to like a green, red, or an orange to no, a no, blue. No, if you have it set to green during the day, it's a brighter green. And at night, it does. Oh, wow. Now, see, now the Coso gauges that I got, I'm sitting here playing around with them one day. That's where I made the little short uh, video from is... I got to playing with it just to see one day, and I was like, oh, I'll go ahead and show a little video about how I like the whole setup. On the Coso gauges, you can actually have a daytime color set, and okay. then at nighttime, it will totally change the color to a completely different color. Oh, that's cool. Or you can or you can actually keep it the same color, and it dims it down naturally. Yep, but yep. I was like, oh, I like this. <laughs> So, yeah, me getting rid of the gauges is not going to probably be an option anymore. But as far as trying to figure out the RDRS issue so I can actually ride the bike like I normally do on the twisties, is still a learning curve of trying to figure out what, I, what needs to happen for that. Because I know I've unplugged the... I've actually taken the fuse out for the ABS, thinking that would probably trigger the RDRS, not the function, and it still actually kicked in. So I was oh, like, wow. I was like, okay, so I got that's not the way how to do it. So I <laughs> got back to the house, plugged it back in. So I was like, I'm gonna have to figure something else. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Um, I haven't found out a way to disable it on a tri glide yet, but I really haven't tried either. Right. So I don't, because I've even thought about trying to contact, even gone as far as trying to see if there's a way that the dealers can possibly disable it through the computers, which 
I'd say they probably could, but they're probably legally not allowed to. Yep. I'm about bet. Yep. Hello, Mary. My Harry. Hey, Mary. Mary went to high school with my wife. And she she was down for the Moto Meetup. I'm sure you met her at the Moto Meetup. Uh, brunette girl hanging around me. Good friend. This wide. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're talking about down there in Daytona? Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep, she was there. What's up, Dying Hey, Dying. So, yeah. I mean... So you're you're all set to ride for the season. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm still debating upon whether I'm gonna depending on what happens with the VA, if I actually get to hundred percent before Sturges, I might actually trailer the bike and let the daughter and granddaughter come up with me. Mm -hmm. Oh there you go. Or well, you, you know actually, about, it takes the VA forever to oh, yeah. get a decision. Right now I'm waiting. This is the second month, so I figure I got another month at least. So you could be a quadriplegic, and it'll yeah. still take forever. For well, if you're oh, quadriplegic, yeah. that's ten percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or forty, ten for each limb. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. They'll knock you. They'll give you fifty percent. Oh, by the way, yeah, that's only still equivalent to ten. So sorry, only ten percent. <laughs> yep. But yeah. So, and I got a VA appointment next month that they uh, that the doctors were a little bit nervous about because of the past history. So they're like, eh, "Yeah, let's try to get the schedule as soon as we can and see what happens and see what they find." I was like, well, "Okay." So, depending on what happens during that appointment, will depend upon whether or not I'll actually be off the following week for TNR. For that weekend, because if it comes back the right way, I probably will be put on duty restriction for work, which means I'll be on sick leave and can't. Work. Yep. But Hello, PA. Up. How you doing? How's your back? Mine is yeah. killing me. So, I hope yeah. you're doing better, PA. Yeah, uh, I hope you're too. still recovering better. Yep. I'm. I'm sure he's thrown a leg over his bike a couple times already. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. You know. Just don't push it. Try and pick it up. Oh no! You know, just don't don't rush your recovery. That's just something you don't want to mess with. No, well, not just have to start all over again on day one. If not, possibly make things worse. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Definitely. So, well, I I never asked for this, but I'm going to ask tonight. So, if you guys haven't had a chance to, why don't you go ahead and click that like button if you haven't done so already? Oh, no, that'd be awesome. the first thing I did. Yes. You know, that'd be awesome. I never exactly. asked, but I figured might as well start now. Yeah. I mean, how hard is it to like a, hit the like button? Yeah. And even subscribe even. I mean, it's, it's free. free. So I mean and, and if you don't like it, you can ask YouTube for a refund. <laughs> so I mean that's the reason why whenever you see me pop in on any live stream, the first thing I do is hit like before I even say hello to anybody. I appreciate that. So, oh, I mean, so that's just the way I am personally. So. Reality. Yep. And subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Road. I appreciate it. Who's better than you? I see 14 likes on my end, some XAM says, and there's 34 watching. Actually, there's a total of 24 likes right now. Oh, there is? Yes. Okay, see. All right, mine. Let me see here. Hit the refresh. Oh, I got you. I'm showing 29 now. Oh, okay. Cool. Right, right on. Right on. 32 watching, 29 likes, 30 oh, likes. I just have the watching oh, showing. Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's oh, we got like a it. dislike. Somebody hit oh. dislike. Oh, um, do we want do we want to put bets on who it was that hit the dislike? I I don't know. I don't care. I can't see who it is. Voodoo hexes. I bet, it, I bet. I bet if anything, it's Dallas playing. <laughs> <laughs> we will do voodoo on you. Yeah. <laughs> I got to pick on Dallas a little bit if he's still here. Oh, Dallas is still there. DDK says, "Wasn't me." <laughs> 
Ain't it, ain't it what they always say? The guilty person says it first. Yeah, you were the first one to say it. Mill? My name is Mill. I have one L in my name, and I am now M-I-L-L. Who is Mill? It's M-E-L. So they want to know when you're coming out with your detail video. I don't have the product. We're waiting on the product from I could do it with you, right? 1903 product. to do the video. But, I don't but if it doesn't come out this weekend, doesn't get here by this weekend, mm -hmm. then we're going to use our regular product during the week, and we'll get it done. Yes. So... <laughs> That'll most likely be not this Sunday's video because I already got one scheduled. Be the following Sunday's. I think he. I think his drugs are working pretty good right now. I think is what part of that is. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I hate trolls so Dislike. Yeah. I have a camera constantly. So over there now. Oh, um, yeah, that's true, Jason. <laughs> yeah. It is true, but yeah, I just get. Yeah, but I hate people like that. Trolls, trolls. Uh, for me, I love it because it just gives me something to turn around and poke back at them. Make fun of. Them. <laughs> yeah, but you can't see who it is. I know that's the only thing that does suck about this. Yeah. I'm gonna grab another drink. Yeah, at least with you know Instagram, you can see, and Facebook, you can see who liked your stuff and who and who ignored it. Yeah, you know. So, I mean, I have had a couple of people go, oh, I was ruining five minutes of my time watching this. I'm like, well, okay, thanks for ruining five minutes. I still got the view, so hope you enjoyed. Yep. <laughs> See, DDP wants you to bring the product to TMMR. I, I usually have product anyway. Yeah, but we're, we're flying. We're not. Oh, yeah, never mind unless uh, we get it to pipe. That'd be a bad idea. We can always put it in some of those little tiny bottles. Yeah. Those enough. little sample bottles. Yeah, yeah. Actually, they didn't even check all those last time. Remember how they were making such a big deal? Through, yeah. Um, I didn't even have the pills in one of those little actual designated bottles, and they just said, <laughs> waved it through. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> it works for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what? I remember. I remember having a hissy fit with one guy at TSA the last time I flew. So when I had to fly out to California, I was just like, "I'm just putting deodorant in here, and I'll just go by Target or somewhere once I land, and get everything yeah. else I go because I'm not going to even sit here and fool with them. Yeah, it's not worth the time. Yeah, well, and I almost thought I was fixing to get in trouble over the drone batteries, even though they were in the approved thing because they took them out and looked at them, looked at each one. I was like. They're drone batteries, boys. They're within legal limits. So, <laughs> Mike said we could bring it. Okay. So no we'll worries, DDK. Yeah, she'll detail your bike, but you know, she doesn't do it for free. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but I did have Mary detail my bike down at Orlando, Harley. She came down, helped me. She took over Mel for Mel down in Daytona and detailed space ball for me. Probably because you have oh. bugs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mine right now is filthy after yep, this weekend. I swear, up here in Connecticut, Litchfield County has Mothra's descendants. You have like this big across the windshield. I'm like, what the hell did you hit? It was huge. And then I pulled a dragonfly out of the grill. Yep. Poor dragonfly. That was after the uh, yeah. first time I went to Gettysburg. Yeah, the thing I hate when I hit but when I have butterflies run into the front fairings when I hate. Yep. June bugs hurt. I, oh god. Oh, oh just wait till the cicadas come out thing. here in a couple of weeks. Yep. Oh, you guys are gonna get to actually be right down here in the middle of all that. The the love bugs? Like no, the cicadas. Oh yeah, we're getting a double oh, brood this spring. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to see how they're going to feel getting hit by them. <laughs> oh, God. Protein. I got chased by one because a cat brought it to me and it was mad at us. I don't fly. I've flown enough. Bugger flew around us, chasing ah. us around the house. I bet you I've flown more than you chasing ghosts. <laughs> As an air crew member, too. I'm going to grab my other Do you need anything downstairs? Or? No, I'm good right now. Hey, you want to bring these empties? All right, we want to make little lights out of them. Yeah. 
joking. We could. We could, but. We make like Christmas lights. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely doing that right now, Hardwire. Especially tonight. So I was like, okay, free bike wash, at least hopefully somewhat. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll tell you what. I got a pretty good old lady. The bike's parked in the garage and I'm in there working. Uh, they will start bikes. So that's awesome. And yes, Mike, there is a helmet law in Tennessee. Yep. There is. It's still being debated on. They haven't passed it yet. But last week, last I've heard is they're still debating upon actually going back to where anybody over 21, just like it is in Kentucky for the most part, if you're over 21, it's your option. So not sure where it, what, what it's been doing lately, but I know the last I heard that's what they've been looking at doing still. Hmm. So, what my, my theory is now, is Spaceball has been complete since April of last year, so for about a year. With that bike, I'm like, you know, minimum protective gear is a helmet on that bike. I've been wearing a helmet on that bike every time I get on it, and now it's just habit. No matter what bike I take, I'm putting a helmet on. So, okay, Diddy K says he's uh, he's heard that they've dropped all the discussions about it that lately. So they're back to messing with people. I guess it must be an easy ticket for them or something. <laughs> well, does the helmet have to be DOT approved? Some Thank states, you. believe it or not, some states do say you have to have a helmet, but it's not drawn out in the law that it has to be a DOT approved helmet. Oh, I, uh, Tennessee, I don't think it does state anything about it having to be DOT. The last I, last I remember looking at it, which has been a while, so I'm not as under, let me see real quick, see what it says. Well, I'm saying here. It says everybody but you have to wear a full face helmet. Now, I do know they do have a law that the passenger has to be able to have, okay, yeah. Did he, did he think you got it on there? Um, I do know that the passengers have to be able to hit the rear foot pegs. That's any state. Oh, really? Yes. Because, see, Georgia, you can actually have some, well, I don't know if it's actually legitimate or not, but I know in Georgia there's a lot of people that usually if they're riding with the kids, their kids are typically up front. Yeah. Between um, them and the them and the bars, and usually one, nobody really one, pays them any attention. One of my customers brought his fat boy in, and he had slut pegs on. Which, if you don't know what slut pegs are, they're foot pegs that are up on the fender support. So her legs are way up, and her knees are way up in the air. Mm -hmm. I said to him, "I said, dude, what's up with the slut pegs?" He goes, "That's for my daughter." I was like, wow, that sandwich just tasted like shit. <laughs> because yeah, but her feet couldn't reach the pegs normally, so he had those installed so yeah. she could go for a ride, which is actually kind of smart because her feet do reach the pegs. Yep, exactly. Explain to me how they're not reaching, they're not touching the pegs when her feet are actually clearly on them. Yep. Hmm. Oh nine F. I don't understand, Mary. Let's see. The government gave the states the choice helmets, or they could cut back on road funds. They did not. Oh, same with seatbelts. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. That's not a bad idea, Doctor. Right, when your bike goes in a warrant for fitness, not sure if you guys call it. But your helmet should pass a test as well. So, if what do they do to test the helmet that doesn't hinder the structural integrity of the helmet? Because all helmet manufacturers tell you if you drop the helmet from a height of three feet, is to replace the helmet because of micro fractures. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Hey, Chris, how's it going? 
I would say the possibility of testing a helmet would probably be almost like a superficial type deal, like what they do here at work. They'll look at the manufacturing date and then look at it visually. And if they see any cracks, any marring or anything like that, then it's deemed to be an unfit hard hat and you got to get a new one issued to you. So I'd say the helmet's probably the same way, possibly. Would be my guess. Yeah. I actually got in trouble in 2010 because I was going to drill and I had my flight helmet with me and I had my soft tail and I had to bring my flight helmet with me. So you have to wear a helmet while on any status in the, in the military. So I wore my flight helmet to drill. <laughs> and I got in trouble because they said that's not an approved helmet. I'm like, oh. it's approved for flying. Yeah, not motorcycles. Yeah, right. Because I mean, covered. Yeah. What's the difference? Good night, Big Mike. It's supposed I'll to protect you, later, you from falling thousands you of feet. Yeah. <laughs> you would think it'd be more safe. <laughs> yeah, you would. That's so stupid. The Kevlar would probably say, "Oh, that's not a DOT approved." It's not. Kevlar is not DOT approved. It's still protecting your brain bucket. What does it matter? It's not like it's the fucking bicycle. I'm sorry. The stupid bicycle helmets that are made out of styrofoam. What does that protect? Yeah. Well, you know, the, the, the flight helmets are like $5,000 per helmet. Yeah, that's way more than a motorcycle helmet. That would be way more than sufficient, I would think. But they're not asking me. Can you send the link out? I have been PA. Surprised you've missed it. Sluts and ice cream? Yes. What did okay. I do? Slut pegs. Oh. What's up? No, i got to get going because I just noticed it's 9 o'clock here and I'm fixing to have to go sit at another post. So I'm oh, fixing all to right. pack cool. everything up. So. Right on. Good to see you. <laughs> but anyway, it's nice chatting with everybody. Seeing yep. everybody again. Yep. And uh, right. hope to see everybody around again later on. Yep. Keep the shiny right, side up. Yep. You too. Take care. Oh, they factor the weight of the head and then drop it from differences, then take measurements. Yep. So, okay. got it. That's, um, PA says your device is not connected. Your device needs an exorcist. So, yeah. <laughs> so, everybody, I was riding on threes. So, oh, here's Mr. PA Biker. <laughs> Mr. Spinal Tap, how you feeling? Oh, God, don't talk about spine. My back hurts. What's up? What's up? What's happening? Ah, just got home from dinner and shopping and you know now um I feel like one big fat ball of uh I don't know what <laughs> play you know with me the full I'm stiff from walking around so much <laughs> I feel well, like I'm a little dog yeah, yeah poke me poke me yeah, how you feel in the hand how is your back feeling? I'm feeling very good, actually. Um, I'm around real good, actually. I uh, I have very little pain, but at night what happens is everything starts to stiffen up mm, when I relax. Yeah. Um, totally off the meds, thank God. Um, what else? I got a doctor's appointment on the 29th. Let's take it from there. I, I, good, I know night, Des. Not, good night, Des. Good night, Des. I know he's not going to let me go back to work right away. I, I, I understand that. I get that. Well, do you have a rod in your back or what did they I had, uh, Well, I broke my back many years ago and they put a Harrington flex rod in probably 30 years ago. Oh. Well, I broke it three different times. Oh my God. So I've had seven surgeries. Now this last one, what happened was, is I slept off the back deck at work oh. and landed on my butt and shoved it right up through my spinal cord. Mm. So... Yeah, so they just kind of like cut me open in the back, cut me open on the side, cut me open underneath the belly, took the old rod out of one side of my body, put the new one. So they took the rod out your ass. <laughs> they took it out my ass and shoved it down my throat. <laughs> Did they make you taller? No, I'm kidding. No, I tried to ask them for an addictomy, but they wouldn't do it. So, well, yeah. that's a totally different surgery. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be taller. I want to be 5'9. Yeah, yeah. But, I want yeah. three more inches. I do stand up more straighter than I was before. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm noticing. Um, so, yeah. 
That's good. Uh oh, yeah. you're in trouble now. Oh my God, who could it be? <laughs> Mr. John, how are you? Oh my, hey, 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 cut the show. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? How you doing? What's good. up, John? John, the leprechaun. I'm a leprechaun now. Jeez. Did I miss something? Well, you are kind of red. We love you. I, I am. I, you know, I got too much sun this past weekend out riding around. You blah, say blah, that blah, like blah. it's a bad thing. Yeah. No, no, I'm good. I just wait to steal horses. At least you can ride. And they get browner. Dude, I've put, I put almost 2,000 miles on the bike since uh, end of November. Well, that don't mean put it on the stand and run it. That means ride it. Right. I don't have a stand big enough to put the bike on. Are you kidding me? I you don't have a treadmill? In the living room. You don't have a treadmill? Here you go. My wife has, you know, in the living room on the treadmill. I bought my wife a treadmill for Christmas one year. Mike uses it? Yeah. She doesn't guys, use Have it. a good evening. Thank you for bringing it in. Damn, I got a hat head. Had my hat on all day. Yeah. You got to comb your hair before you show up on a live, man. Yeah, you got to go through hair and makeup. What's going on? Hair and makeup. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that important like Doc. You know, Doc, he's got to hit the makeup room and all. And <laughs> yeah, I do got to go through hair and makeup. You know. Yeah, same here. That's okay. I don't care. As long as my wife loves me, I don't care. I have hey, news for you. Have more hair than most young people these days. Yeah. So, Doc, I got a question for you. It's a motor question. Actually, two questions. Rebuild it. Okay. Uh, you I'm already asked question. one, so what's the other question? <laughs> <laughs> okay. The most important question is from my bike. Uh, I was cleaning it up the other day, trying to wipe it down. Found a whole lot of oil, old oil, caked up in my front jug. Really? Yes. And the bike's been running beautiful. As it is it on the front side? The front side, as if you will look down to the tire. Yes. I bet you that's oil, residual oil from every time you had the oil change. You pull the oil filter off, they spill the oil, mm -hmm. and they don't clean it up. So it just gets splashed no. up there. Yeah, it's a very good uh, possibility. Are you are you going through oil? Is the oil no. Always, no. No. So, okay. so I would almost out. guarantee that's where it is. Okay. All right. Well, where's my wife? Make sure she's not here. She's working tomorrow. I'm going to break out the power washer. Power wash the whole motor down. No. No. Simple green. Simple green? Yeah. Or F100. F, yeah, F100 or a bottle of Simple Green and then mm -hmm. dilute it to about 110 or 120th and then spray it on, wipe it off with paper towels. Because if you don't okay. dilute it down, it's going to corrode your aluminum. Yeah. Oh, will it? Yes. Yeah. I, I dilute it down because I'm cheap. <laughs> no. Oh, no, no, no. You're... <laughs> yeah, no power washer. Yeah, None. don't use a power washer because it can it can dislodge seals and stuff. And that you, and you yeah, could get... Wrong. Water inside your neck bearings, your wheel bearings, uh, your swing arm bearings, and the next thing you know, it's just a very uncomfortable bike to ride. Nice. So I got to go out and buy some simple green. Okay. Actually, just better off get S100. It's made for aluminum. It's made for motorcycles. It's a good oil cutter, and and just be done with it. Where yeah. do you get S100 at? Uh, most motorcycle shops have it. I guarantee you, Gettysburg uh, Motorsports has it. I got to go there tomorrow um, anyway because I got a, a friend of mine's doing the um, stilet lady stilettos. Uh, meet and I don't grade. wear stilettos. No, but you're not a lady either, either guy. Chip's girlfriend just joined the lady lady stilettos. Oh, okay. It's a it's, and, a, it's a riding club. Yeah, um, for ladies only. But we all know who runs that area. So we were asked to go up as a support. Um, yep. I don't have a problem with the, the support, but I have a problem with the other wearing the other thing. Yeah, I hear you. You know, but anyway, yeah. So I got to go up there anyway. I'll buy some. I'll get it there. What is it called? S one hundred. S one hundred. All right. So I got like fifteen bikes that are due for detailing. Nice. And yeah, but I gotta. I don't know if I can stay bent over that long. If I was up in Connecticut, I'd be sending them to you, Mel. 
You can still send them here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they can ride. That's a long ride. I don't care. That's their gas and money. It's not a long ride. <laughs> maybe not for us. <laughs> for his back right now, maybe. Hey, Jason's here. What's happening? What's up, Jason? <laughs> yeah, did you see Gremlin's comment about the cold water? <laughs> cold water activates Dallas. Da no, cold water shrinks Dallas. But the cold water <laughs> activates Simple Green. That's interesting. <laughs> I only ever hear cold water because I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you know most of us don't have hot water taps on the outside of the house. Dinah, we have cold water taps on the house. I don't have a hot water tap on the right. house. Yeah, That's what I said. Most houses don't have a hot water tap. Only cold water taps. Mm -hmm. Most I've seen a house that had a hot water tap. They probably had three air conditioning units too, because they were rich. I have two. I'm not rich. Two. Oh. Yeah. I have half of one. I got I one, one for the house, one. and I have one for the garage. A window unit, because the upstairs doesn't have returns. So no, see you that's know what? I have two then too, because I have a window unit off frame here, and then I've got a big unit outside. That's what she said. <laughs> it's outside, not units. inside. <laughs> yeah, well, I keep it leashed up in the backyard. Yep. Cold water <laughs> shrinks a lot of stuff. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's how I fit my head in the helmet. <laughs> well, you know. If I shrank my head anymore, I'd be an infant head helmets. Oh, I feel bad I for little, you. I have a little head. I have a small head, extra small head. Yeah, me too. My head's tiny. Nope. I have a large head, and so do my kids. Mm. You know what they say with guys with big heads? They wear big hats. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hell, I got to give myself a haircut every once in a while or my helmet starts to fit too tight. Yeah, me too. I got to get a haircut too. <laughs> <laughs> See, Marvin the Martian, rich guy, just telling you, had a bakery. I was a child. You didn't bring any bakery. You didn't, didn't bring me any baked goods, though. Come on, Marvin. I baked a cake today and cupcakes. Nice. We baked a cake yesterday. I helped. It's fun. I like baking cake. I like baking. I used to do candy. I used to do caramels. I made gummy bears. Gum oh, gummy. I've done gummy caramels. Uh, so, no, you don't want you don't want none of my gummy bears. <laughs> hey, some of your no. best pain best pain management is in uh, little mason jars, right? Yes, right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Speaking of that, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Grab a mason jar. That would be mm -hmm. mixing too much for me today. I'd probably be like, yeah, no. 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 I got like some. Cream. Who doesn't like ice cream? Ice cream is good, just not on the ground. It'll melt all over. Yeah. Well, somebody sent me a picture of Joe Biden saying, I love ice cream. So it ruined it for me. I well, see it's nice to eat ice cream know. and not have brain freeze because you don't have a brain. Yep. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, XAN. THC gummies. There you go. That's what I like. Those were good. I've taken those to sleep to help me fall asleep, and I had insomnia. Do you know my problem is I'm having from the surgery? I can't sleep at night. Yeah. The Cannot sleep at night. Help. I, eat them like, I eat them like. I eat a candy bar. I ain't doing nothing. Try a Cheech and Chong's cruise gummies. Those actually work pretty good. They got oh, THC like... and a little bit of um CBD. Say, uh, if it comes from Cheech and Chong, you know it's good. Hey, oh, hey. I had those. We got, I got my own Cheech and Chong goodies. <laughs> <laughs> Corey. Hey, Mr. Corey, Corey is here. Corey. Cookie is downstairs, Corey. He's sleeping. Yeah. And bribe. See, Mr. gummies Mr. rock. Yes, they do. So I got my cup from XM Biker the other day. What kind of cup? You got a XM no, cup? No. Well, no, it's a Harley Davidson um, coffee cup. It's an athletic supporter. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't no Dixie cup. When you definitely don't want to drink out of that cup. When it goes like this, it goes potato, potato, potato. <laughs> it's shaped like a potato. <laughs> I'm shaped like a potato, yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, guys, while we're at it, we all got to congratulate Corey because he got married the other day. Oh, Congratulations, you poor bastard. 
What the hell did you do a thing like that for? No. Got married and got a puppy. There you go. Maybe he's referring to Corey's wife as a puppy. That's really mean, bra. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> Shots shot fired. Not Are we going to see the reception on YouTube? Reception pictures on YouTube? What's that? Reception pictures on YouTube. The videos? No videos of the wedding? Nope. Nope. Dirty dog. So, <laughs> shrooms. Shrooms. Peyote. Peyote. <laughs> Never did it. I don't want to see dead people that much. Yeah. I think the last time I did shrooms was probably in the 70s. So, Corey, why don't I you was... pop on in here and tell us all about your your, uh, your wedding. And your puppy. <laughs> and your puppy. Yeah. And Who's show us pictures of the puppy. And let the man's come. best friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Don't forget the fire. Guys. Come on, Corey. The Pulitzer Prize. Yeah. No more going on YouTube. Put a thing, put a ring on that finger. Polygamy. That's not I, true. No, no, no. On polygamy. Hey, I know it. No, I know no, it. I'm on YouTube. I, I got a ring on my finger. It's even tattooed mm. on. That way it doesn't that. scratch the bike. Yeah. Well, I did I, that when I was crewing helicopters. This way I don't rip my finger off. That's a really good idea. Helicopter. Oh, yeah. That's a thing. Mm -hmm. Mechanics, too. You yep. don't want to and your we were off. dealing with uh, 32, 30 kVA six phase generators. So mm -hmm. high electrocution, 480 volts is a thing on a helicopter. Yeah. So, no, you don't want that in your hand. No. So, any metal. No good. No. That's like going into an x ray, I mean, an MRI with, you know. Titanium. In yeah. Your body. Sam and Susan did get married out in uh, Vegas. Vegas. Wow. And it was pretty cool. They did it at the Harley dealership. Which is real. Yeah, that was cool. Did, you get did they get to ring the bell? Married? No. They Come didn't on. get a free bike. Did they That's get to ring the bell? Bad. <laughs> no. oh, I'm sure Susan yeah. rang his bell later. Ding. <laughs> <laughs> Duncan stays. Yeah. Is it one of those it's, little mini Duncans you could fit around your finger? No, Bry's ring is the uh, leaking coffee cup on the napkin. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's when the earthquake happens and it goes. Yeah. It's that's bad. So, so John, you, what's new out of Da Vinci Resolve since you're in the know with them? Oh, no, I'm not in the, dude. I I'm not in the know, but they haven't done an update in a while. I heard rumors that there's some big new features coming later this year. I don't know what, but it's pretty rock solid, and I have spent quite a few hours lately in editing. I'm. Let me uh, ask, let me ask you ahead. this: with audio. Yeah. Can you separate background noise and your voice and then delete the background noise? I do. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. You So if my audio doesn't come out of my helmet sounding the way my videos do. Okay. Not even, not even close. But I've got plugins and I've got video reviews of all the plugins and I set it up on a timeline and hit play, and it just takes care of all of it. Nice. That's yeah. Because, cool. you know, one of the things that always drives me crazy, whether I'm at a rally or a dealership or a bike night and I'm recording and there's music playing in the background, and that would kill my video because I'd get demonetized because yeah. of copyright and all that. And if I could get rid of all of that, that'd be amazing. So it's, it's funny, I was editing the other night and I couldn't figure out why the music track didn't sound right. And then I realized I had the noise isolation on it. So all I was hearing was the voice from the music track. Gotcha. I was like, oh, that explains it. Because like I have a clip uh, last year, I was riding down the road 60 mile an hour and Green Day came on and you can hear Billy Joe's voice, but nothing else. And it's the wildest thing. So you listen to Green Day? It was on the radio. But you still listen to Green Day? You didn't change the station? There was one station available. Well, okay. Uh, Thank you. Know, you. 
Sorry, we lost you there because as a Green Day fan, you know. <laughs> ha ha, right? Yeah, you know, I don't have any strongly held beliefs, really. So, whatever. Something catchy comes on, I'll listen to it. I don't give a crap. Yep. So, Salty says, what were you doing, 60? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was doing 60. I have the footage to prove it. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's the problem with Green Day? What did they do? They, Come on, you don't know. They, they actually got up at one of their concerts. They said they hate America and they want to denounce their citizenship. So oh, well, did they then? They did say that. Oh, but did they actually follow through with it? Because all the people I heard were going to move to Canada still live in the U.S. Yeah, and they're not real Americans. Okay. I, I kind of look at it this way, Doc. Does it affect me personally? And if the answer is no, then goodbye. I, I just don't care that much. I understand. That makes you know? complete sense. Well, I just don't like, I don't put up with people who talk bad about our country. The country that you fought for. Yeah. Oh, God, don't get me started. I don't We're not getting you started. So. No so idea. I'll tell you then, Doc. Let, let me reframe this for you. I looked the I looked earlier. I have 21 videos uploaded, ready to go. Okay. Is that Only enough? 21. Well, yeah, I published a few this week already. Yeah, I know. I, I've seen them. I haven't seen them. Hmm. Oh, dude, you got to check out my Marilyn Strong video. It's yes. uh, probably my best work in a long time. And I had an it, it, ensemble it is very cast. Good. I had an ensemble cast to. Uh, add to the, the video production there. It was awesome. We had a lot of fun the other day. Yeah. See, Salter says Green Day's from California. Says it all. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. My sister lives in California. Where's an earthquake when you need one? Do they still poop on the... It hit Jersey. <laughs> they sent it to Jersey. I know, yeah. right? Hit well, Pennsylvania, too. You got an earthquake bought on AliExpress.com. Got shipped to the wrong address. We got uh -huh. that here in um what? Yeah. They got shipped to the wrong address. The they sent the earthquake to the wrong address. The no, no, they no. California sent it here to the East yeah. Coast. It says, no. "What fix all you people?" They pooped on the street all at once, caused the earthquake. Yeah. Ew. Yeah, that'll do it. That's what they do, B.A. They poop on the street. Yeah, San Francisco. Creepy. San Francisco pays like 180000 a year to be a human fecal pickup expert. Mm. Yep, on the streets. It's a real thing. Nasty. That's kind of mentally ill. I don't know. There's something wrong with people that yep. do. <laughs> Dallas is right. Jersey is where the Americans come to live. And deal with earthquakes. Mrs. P.A. is behind me doing something. Hey. Hello, you lady. Blowing up the earth. Howdy. There she is. A big shout out to the veterans of the 1109th TASM G, a.k.a. Uh, what do they call them? The TASM G. Before that, they were the Avcrad. Yes. Yes. And ready for this? They've gone back to the Avcrad, and they only use TASM G when they're deployed. Why? Oh. Why well, have two different names? Okay. It's the Tasm. They're hey. horrible. Is it that or Admiral? Uh, no, Admiral is gone. There's a poop out. Really? Yeah, oh. they they disbanded the Admiral because there was no, they served no purpose. Wow. Yeah, they they didn't in the nineties either. <laughs> no. No, nope. their their last the Admiral's last deployment was in 2011, 2012. And or no, yeah, 11, 12. And after that they shut them down. Oh wow. Huh. That was cool. We were long out of there by then, weren't we? Well, what do you mean? We? Yeah, I mean you. You were long out of there. I mean you and your shorts were on the couch. <laughs> yeah. That too. So I'm really surprised y'all haven't ran into each other through the, the have cried somewhere along the you line. You know, I probably ran into her 
when I used to go down there and support the flight missions with Mike Commode and the rest of the uh, Chinook pilots when they had a Chinook down there. Where? Okay. At the Afcrad. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm sure you people y'all know quite of the same peeps. Oh yeah, we've talked about that in the past. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I went to go work for the AASF um, one in um, Salisbury, North Carolina. Oh, okay. And then I, went I did all HR. my flying and drilling at the AASF in Windsor Locks. Okay, you got good peeps there. What's there? Jesus Christ! Uh, go ahead, Alex. She said you got good peeps there. Had. Had. <laughs> Had. <laughs> uh, they're all retiring. Jimmy Duggan's retired now. Yep. Uh, Tony Savino's retired. Yep. He never made state sergeant major, so he retired. Wow. Uh, he made sergeant major, but he didn't make state sergeant major. <laughs> wow. So that's a road realty. What are you a realtor now? Is that? Oh, okay. Shut up. You know it says road reality. There's an eye right behind my thumb. It's Over here. <laughs> a friend of mine made it for me. He's a character. <laughs> All right. She said she'll talk to you guys later. All right. Ben four, babe. That's my road reality sign, Doc. I dig it. I like mine. That That's a more colorful sign and bigger and more visible on camera. Mine is not really visible. No. That's... Uh, Vista print. Is your new shop shirts in yet? Yes. Yes. All right. Um, I need twenty to bucks. One. All right. I need. I'll order one tomorrow. We're shipping. So what, what size? Uh, probably two X. We okay. have some. I get okay. you. I get you. Right. And I'll uh, I'll uh, I'll send out the money tomorrow on. Uh, so I don't have none of that Van Am, none of that kind of stuff. Yep. Uh, He's gonna send you a check in the mail. Well, no. Okay, just, won't ship out until I get the money. Well, no, that's why I don't want you to do that. But maybe tomorrow I'll uh, text her and get what information I need. Hey, Bert has one. Monkey has one. I have. Well, obviously, we Alan have one. has one from Advan Black. Get it? It's on its way, but. Yeah, probably got it right now. Join the cool kids. When does the new shop open? Oh, we're hoping for next year. All right. There's a lot of legwork between now and then. Mm -hmm. so I can send all my Connecticut friends up there to get you their still work. send them to me now. Well, yeah, I do. I tell them, you know, my buddy, <laughs> I think I heard his feelings. He's got a Suzuki. Oh, no. Uh, we're not. Like, I need this done. I need that done. And I said, I know right where you can get it done. He says, where? I said, Triple A junkyard. <laughs> Triple A. I would never say that about somebody's bike, but I do but, not uh, have the time. Literally no called me and asked me if I had the address. Okay. Yeah. I was like, you know, Yamaha. Oh, right. Here he is. The newlywed himself. Oh, Corey. Wah, wah. Congratulations, Corey. Hey, thanks, guys. <laughs> Condolences to Mrs. Corey. Huh? I, bet. <laughs> I, said, con I said condolences to Mrs. Corey. Yeah. As you, as you know, I, know I, I actually tricked somebody into marrying me. I know. <laughs> well, so, you know, as much money as it did me, no. <laughs> When I got my Maryland, when I got my uh, wedding license and all that, you know, they were like, "Yeah, there's a 48 hour wait between when you apply and when you can actually get married." And I said, "Shit, I've had benders last longer than that." <laughs> they didn't laugh. Well, I mean, I laughed. They have no sense of humor. Well, Doc, you've probably been married long enough. Remember when you went for your marriage license, you had to get blood work. Yes. Yes. Yep. That goes to show how long we've been married, huh? They just ask you if you're second cousins or not, and then you're good. Yeah. I'm a doctor, that's what, that's no what the blood work was, related. believe it yeah. or not. Early mm -hmm. on was to see if you were right. related anyway. Yep. Yep. And uh, 
<laughs> Anything above 30. <laughs> oh, God, Kelfire. Why isn't she on here? What a shame. Yeah, get in here, Kelfire. <laughs> she doesn't love me anymore. That's what it is. I mean, do any of us love you, Doc? Kelfire used to. Yeah. My wife, that I hope does. Well, You're a you. Sire, if you think you do. <laughs> it's a business I'm partnership now. Oh, no, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, What's wrong with you and Kim? <laughs> the, the web toes. You get an you get an unfair advantage when swimming. The conjoined twin growing out of your head. Ooh. So, Corey, what's news, buddy? Oh, uh, not too much. Where's the honey riding lately? What's up? Getting the bike ready for some riding. Did you do any riding? Oh yeah, I rode yesterday. It's supposed to rain today, so I left yesterday it at home. Gorgeous. And it rained for I all rode yesterday minutes. and today. Nice. You should be riding every day now that you're married. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, take your bike out for a ride every day. Don't get twisted, all right? I wasn't going there. Sure you weren't. Too late. We already thought it. Yeah. I know you already thought it. Everybody marries a shrew, though. Where'd you go for your honeymoon? We climbed hey, Everest. Bro. There you go. <laughs> hey, we went to Block Island. Hey. To the luxurious city of Springfield, Mass. Oh, yeah. My favorite. And they spent some time in Holyoke. We went to Block Island, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, yeah? On the ferry boat. Yeah, I've been down that way. I put the home on the tiger. The first marriage license expired? I didn't think there was an expiration. Oh, yeah. I never paid attention. Okay. Yep. Really? Yeah, you have, you have you to really use it. Yeah, I think you have, uh, I think, six months Jeez, from mean. from the date of the marriage license to get married. I don't know that. Something like that. I have no Not idea. valid after six oh, months. From... before I got you. Okay. Yeah. I thought you meant after you're already married. No. No. <laughs> mine has a punch card on it, though. He's like, I got to look at that contract. Does mine expire? Yeah. Yeah. They got to punch back. I got to. Punch card on mine. If I do four of them, the fifth one's free. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one question about getting money. Listen, I'm on my second you marriage. You're only good for sixty days. Me if too. that doesn't work, I am not getting remarried. Sorry. This is my first. If it doesn't Number work, I'm just getting another pet. Hey, Amen. Another what kind bike. of dog? <laughs> I just got another bike. bike. Yeah. I'm just yeah. Here you go. Perfect. You know, that's like me and my wife. Every time she got pregnant, I bought a new bike. She stopped getting pregnant pretty damn fast. <laughs> <laughs> the second one cocked her $26,000, you know? It's a Harley. Is it twenty six? I don't know how much it cost her. A brand new street glide, whatever that cost. Wow. Probably thirty grand out the door. Yeah, sure. So whatever that was, she paid for it. The last time I looked Kelp Fire up here, it was $145 an hour at this dealership. I thought it was 157 yeah. here in Pennsylvania. It's like 140, 150 here near DC. The District of Columbia. Mm. Yeah. What do you get an hour? Me? Who, me? <laughs> I honestly don't charge an hourly rate. Oh. I charge, I charge an hourly rate. Right? Say that again. I charge what the job is worth. There you go. The book rate. Mm -hmm. No, so flat rate. Watch that, this. That's just pure rate. Yeah. That's what I pay. That's because you go to the steelers ships. That's like me. Yeah, with that, that's RV labor. labor. That's a whole different world. Yeah. Dude, let me, let me tell you. The, trying to find an indie shop around here is like... Trying to find hen's teeth. They're they're few, far between, and not very reputable. Yeah. That's like me detailing. I go by like the size of the bike. I try not to. Right on, Eric. Uh, Mike Ball and the Diamond Effect is a good show to watch. Great people. I always oh, watch well, them. Uh, I'll be watching, rewatching the show tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mike Ball is a good man. Yeah, he is. Mike's a good dude. 
he really has a leg up on the competition. Just one leg. Yeah. Nah. Hey, look, I said that one to his face, okay? So he knows it's all in good fun. Yeah. Look at that. Kami for now. Oh, good God, $185. He's we got to pay for all the $25 minimum wage people, right? Yeah. You want to get him up when he's just jack the uh, the minimum wage to like 20 bucks an hour out there, but only for fast food workers? They what? can't even figure that out. That seems oddly specific. Program. Yeah, they did. And like twelve hundred or no twelve thousand, no a whole bunch of people got laid off over it. Wow! I know you love me, Campfire. It was only a joke. Doc, did you have Mike Ball on one time? I've had him on a couple times, uh, and I've been on his show a few times. And I was, was on, on with Mike Ball in Hollywood once. Not that long ago. Oh, right in Hollywood? Yeah, you yeah. were on with him this weekend. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I I, Mike was- Ball. Called That's me up. Good. We were out riding uh, yeah. in the fall time, and we stopped for a bathroom break. My phone rings. It's Mike Ball. I answer. What's up, Mike? He goes, what are you doing tonight at 8 o'clock? I'm like, mm, don't know why. He goes, well, Hollywood and I are wondering if you want to be a guest on our show. We're going to talk about Harley Davidson's and things like that, and we figured you'd be the best to come on. I'm like, uh, sure, I'll come on. I'll hang out with you in Hollywood. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. What Much happened with respect to Hollywood. to Hollywood? What happened to Hollywood? I don't see him no more. Honestly, I don't know. I like. I used to like watching him. Absolutely. Man, I loved watching his shows. And God, he was like the best. What? I'm chopped liver. I'm well, saying twenty dollars for fast food. They can't even figure out the freaking picture. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. They can't even figure out how to give you change if you give them cash. They look yeah. at a oh, that's the worst. What is that's this? the worst? I'm teaching my kids early all about cash and making change and all that. Yeah. I don't want that to ever be an issue. They don't even know what what, what the 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 pennies, nickels, dimes. Qu- they don't look what the money looks like. They don't have no idea what that what a quarter is, how much it's worth, or a penny. By the time the celebration grows up, there's going to be no more coins. There's going to be no more. Oh, no. There's going to be no more money. No, here you go. In checks, I work at a school, and they have to give money orders or checks to the mm-hmm. school for the tuition because we don't we're not set up for credit cards. Right. They're signing the back of the check after they endorse it to the school, and I'm like, Oh my god! I'm like, Well, now you got to take it back and get a whole new one because it's not made out to you. Yep. I'm like, oh my god! Nobody teaches them anything anymore. (laughs) (laughs) I like that. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. They hold it up like they know what they're looking for. Yeah. Stupid. There. You know, they don't teach them how to read, write, spell anything anymore. Well, why go they, to school? I will tell well, you, the other thing that in California, their grading scale is now, I think you can get like a 24 and still get a D. Wow, that's like wow. 24 to 45 is a D, 46 to 60 is a C. 60 used to be a D. Yeah. yeah, I didn't think well, below was an F. When I was in school, it was A was ninety. You know, nineties was an A, eighties was a B, seventies mm-hmm. was a C. Just every yep. ten. Yeah. Nope. The, they can't teach them, so they just lower the scale until it still looks like they passed. They don't teach them nope. anything. They don't teach them how to read, hey. write, spell, grammar. I'm so sick of bad grammar and I, spelling. I Sorry. think I set a record in sixth grade because I'm AP English. Because when I was in sixth grade. I got a perfect report card. Fix your camera. Nope. <laughs> Literally a perfect report card. I got all F's in sixth grade throughout the year. And I went on to seventh grade. How do you get all F's in sixth grade? Hey, F F is for fantastic, isn't it? That's that's what I thought. Okay. Not at all. That's a true story. That's with a P. That, Phenomenal starts with the big. That that that's a true story. Fabulous. I failed every course in sixth grade throughout the whole year, and I that? still passed the seventh grade. 
Man. That's because I, I didn't do any of the homework. I didn't do any of the quizzes. I didn't do any of the tests. I would fill out my name, and I'd sit there and daydream all day. Dude, I can tell you that they are teaching my kids how to read, write, spell, grammar, all that stuff, and we enforce it at home. And I don't let them call me bra and all that other shit that the kids are talking. In fact, I tell you what, the neighbor kid came over and was like, hey, John. And I was like, whoa, hold up there, kid. Who? It's Mr. John. All right. And my wife is Miss. So don't don't even start with me. And like a week later, you hear them all talking and they're talking to all the other adults with the Mr. and Miss. And I'm like, yes, a little bit of respect, you little bastards. That's 100% correct, Dean. I yep. work in the school systems. They're dumb as dog poop. Or so, just, yep. Yeah. You got my wife all excited, John. I do that to people's wives, yes. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> not that way. Don't feel lucky, she said. Yep. I'm not lucky. I'm like 600 miles away. Well, it's like, well, that's how we were raised, you know, with the ladies. It was always Miss So and So. Yeah. Mr. Yeah, exactly. None of this. Hell yeah. Crap you're not related to. F look, is also fabulous. Look, we went on a date. It was me and my wife and our neighbor lady. And my wife didn't want to feel like a third wheel. So we brought our three-year-old with us to the restaurant. And I had him hold the lady's hand and try to open the door for her and all that stuff. And make sure she was enjoying her meal and all that. It was freaking hilarious. <laughs> I was meeting with his teacher recently and she's like, you know, your kid is like four and he can count to 150. And I'm like, well, yeah, because they practice. You know, we make them do this stuff. We're not <laughs> you give them dollars over here. That's cute. That's that's cool. You give them dollars. Count this. One, two, Dude, three. You have no idea. We took the kids to the Lego store late last year. And between the two of them, they must have spent three or four hundred dollars. They had their own money and we made them pay the taxes. And they each bought one thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, the one kid got a gigantic set, and the other one got a slightly smaller set, and they both used their own money, paid taxes, and all that stuff. I want the Lego pirate ship. I, I have the original 1989 Lego pirate ship. Does it have the ghosts and the skeletons? It, that wasn't a part of that one. It was before that. I so like you, those. Oh, you got Mel excited when you said pirate ship. I like the pirate ship. It's cool. Yeah. Kelfire, have a teacher try that today. Yeah, right. They're, They're going to jail. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They need to be whacked. Maybe it'll knock some sense. In them. eighth grade, we had a, a teacher. She had five yardsticks taped together. Wow. It was wood, aluminum, wood, aluminum, wood. <laughs> mm. So when a fight would break out, she'd come in there swinging like a samurai warrior. And let me tell you, she didn't care if you were fighting or not. If you were around there and, and, her, and her swinging path, you got hit, and you went home. I went home and told my mother I got hit. She goes, what did you do? Yeah, yeah exactly. I did nothing. You know what she said when I told her I did nothing? She goes, either you were in the wrong place or you did something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those nuns were no joke. They beat the Parents today, <laughs> oh, my God, the parent, the teacher's getting fired. It's this yep. goddamn kid. <laughs> it's the girl. Dude, the girl. Hey, John. You know, when I was in high school, it was a private one. But yeah. one of the one of the kids in class, he was. A... He froze. He froze up. He froze. He's cold. Uh... Turn off the heat, Corey. Dude, while we wait for him, my kid got called into the principal's office, and I had to go have a meeting with the lady. And I looked her dead in the face, and I said, "You know, he starts this crap now on the school bus. It's going to be a prison bus before long." And she looked at me, and her eyes got as big as saucers, and she goes. My husband's a police chief, and he says the same thing to me when he gets home. If parents parented, I wouldn't have to patrol. And I'm like, yeah. all right, I guess I got in your good graces, lady, because I actually oh, disciplined my kid. From the erectors, that's my brother and I had. Yeah. How about Tinker Toys? We had those, too. Remember the plastic AFX tracks? Yeah. The yeah. Oh, well, those, those hurt. Yeah. That's what I used to whip my brother and I used to throw those jarts at My mother used to grab those and with me with them because the belts didn't hurt anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ever throw the lawn darts? Those hurt. You sharpen the yep. friggin' tips and... My, my grandfather used to say, go pick a switch. 
Yeah. Yeah, I heard that before. And then you go back there because, hey, I got you. You picked up the skinniest, smallest skinniest stick. One, it wouldn't hurt and that. then he go out there and says, he'll look at it and says, all right, now I'll go pick one. Yep. And then the next time he says, go pick a switch, you're out there picking up a tree going, is this big enough? A Lincoln yeah. log. Because <laughs> you don't want to bring him back a small one. Yep. No. I remember my sister put a book in her back of her pants. Yeah, my father was like, "Okay." The razor strap. Take the game, wow. and when he was done, he was like, "Now take the book out. We'll do it for real." My mother yeah. used to get whooped by a belt, or they. How about Italian kids? You get whipped by a wooden spoon <laughs> or a slipper. Italian, I know the old spaghetti spoon. And then here goes the wooden spoon, or she couldn't get you with that. She get the slipper and go around the corners and walk oh, yeah. in the back of the like, head, like a boomerang. Yeah. Oh. I nope. see you. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah, all dad, all my dad needed was the sound of a belt clearing the loops. Take and he fell right in line. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, they would do I that too. Of my dad, my mom was scarier. Who so, <laughs> back to when I got all F's. All right, we get the report cards and we got to get them signed by our parents and bring them back. Everybody's looking at the report cards. Man, dad's gonna kill me. Dad's gonna kill me. I'm looking like that, mom. Mom. I was like, oh, damn, yeah, right, mom. Mom's going to, I'll have dad sign it. <laughs> dad will be drunk. He'll be like, yeah, that's good. Good job, kid. <laughs> My grandson over for the weekend. Grab the whole box, tipped it over on the floor. Looked at me, all pissed off. I built the city. Destroyed by earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, today's Lego is simple compared to the stuff we had in the 80s where it was oh God, spot yeah. the difference between the pictures. Now they yeah. tell you the parts, how many, and where to put them. It's super simple. Well, well those that's because they're yeah, so intricate the now. They are. They yeah. are. I mean, you look at the Lego kits. You could build the Death Star. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have re with removable parts with, you know, you can see the floors and the doors and the walls. My godson yeah. and I built the realistic version of the X-Wing fighter one Christmas. I love it. My <laughs> kid has the $50 version, and I got the $250 version. It's like two feet long, and it's yeah, it's a ton of fun. Something. The, the, one, uh, <laughs> the one I dread having to take apart is the 7,500-piece Millennium Falcon. Oh, yeah. Because it weighs okay. like 30 pounds. Wow. Yeah, cool. it took me 30 hours to build. Oh, riding crop. Ooh, that hurts. Oh, yeah. I used to have fun with a riding crop. Yeah. <laughs> Did that come with handcuffs? <laughs> or stand on nail on rice. That hurt. Yeah. Oh, he's back. All right. Let's Better than ever. Again. Bro, sorry. <laughs> You're talking about nuns whooping you or something? Hmm? He got all excited. How to get off? <laughs> no, I was saying oh. he had to walk his bobcat. Nuns <laughs> walked around with a ruler and whacked you on your knuckles. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a, a science teacher then in my high school. She was a nun. She used to whoop your neck. If you had the clacking binders, she would whack you across the knuckles with a ruler. Oh, yeah. She didn't want to hear that clicking. So you had to find plastic binders that made no noise. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, uh, honey, Jack, and ginger. Yep. Ooh. My back feels better now. <laughs> yeah, I wish I did. <laughs> Let's see. Go on. Uh, build a life size working oh, Lego Harlem. Didn't they have one? That's they had the, not a life size one, but they did a fat boy one. Yes, yeah. the Lego. Yeah, fat that fat boy one. is nice. And oh, it's not cool. cheap either. No, it isn't. No, well, it's retired now. So it originally retailed at 100 bucks, and now I think the minimum is like 130 140 to pick one up. New and box. I've seen them for 250 You can oh, probably geez. get them mm -hmm. Yeah, no thanks. I have and mine. Have three of them right over there. And the racer. Yeah. The nuns were deadly with the racers. It's like grandma and the slipper. <laughs> yep. And your mom. An easy punishment was... You clap the erasers after class. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Put the cloud and crap. That was the easy punishment. I used to yeah. like doing that, and I'd do it right at the teacher. I was not a good boy in high school. I had to do mm -hmm. summer school to make up detentions. 
Because mm -hmm. of my brother, I was afraid to skip class. They all knew who he was. I got my thrown out of school. The city knew who he was. <laughs> I got thrown out of school in time because I did took my dirt bike and we used to have this long haul went door to door. And a buddy of mine got five hours. I wouldn't do a wheelie down the hallway. Now, guess what? I rode up the stairway and did a wheelie all the way down the hallway, right out the door, right out to the parking lot, and I was gone. I already knew I was getting thrown out, so why stop? That's it. Yeah. Hey, Blue has a Lego fat boy in it? Yes, he does. Yeah. Yes, he does. Oh, my yes. wife, when, when my wife was in school, her parents were teachers. So <laughs> they couldn't get away with nothing. No. No. Hey, I, I, I don't know if Doc's ever heard of it, but I went to Montville High School. Montville High? Yep. Yeah. And back in the day, dude, uncontrollable. My brother went to Wright hey, Tech Technical School. I went to State. Bullard Havens in Bridgeport. Yeah. They used to and duct tape I, teachers and hang them out the window. I got when I was there, the scene <laughs> shop would make you a gun because they had the, the, the gun it's stock Bridgeport. with the rifle barrels. Mm -hmm. When they got done with that, you take it over carpentry and then make you a nice wood handle for it. Mm -hmm. So for about less than 100 bucks, you had a nice working gun. Wow. <laughs> Gremlin, I'm bleeding. Yep. Mine had uh, black walnut handles on it. Nice. I didn't have an interesting high school. I was afraid to do anything stupid. Yep. And we had a smoke, yeah. You know, of course, we had a smoking area for the students. Oh, yeah. yeah, I did get a detention for smoking, and I've never smoked in my life. I hung out with the smokers. I got kicked yep. out of Montville High for smoking and got sent to NFA. I used to bring cocktails though and get drunk in school and, and stagger through the hallway and tell them about my Coke or my orange juice. NFA had a big green, big field. And in the morning, all the students would stand out in the field, smoke cigarettes, and get high. Yeah, we used to. Try to we, high we used to take the Something cigarettes, sport. roll all the tobacco out of it, and make take it our weed, and put it in there and restuff it. And then yeah. they go raid McDonald's and have like 50 burgers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I loved it because my mother was a cafeteria worker. Mm -hmm. Did she give you the surprise meal? <laughs> oh man, we you wouldn't believe the stuff we'd get. Alpo gravy train, oh, gravy oh. train, cat food, cat food, nice <laughs> squishy dog food, cat sandwiches. You know, <laughs> ew, poor cat. Yeah, man, I just went to Chinese food. Now you're talking about cat. Oh, that's yeah. dog dog food. Young too. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. That's gross. Mm -hmm. They are really. They do. Some yeah, countries okay. do do that, and it oh, shouldn't yeah. be. You know what they serve at a gay Chinese restaurant, right? Yep. Some young guy. <laughs> cream of uh, some, cream, young guy cream some young guy. Some young guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Peppermint schnapps. Oh, my God. Drinking at school, that was, like, very low-key. That was, I like, yeah, that. whatever. I did that. You know. They didn't notice. I was so quiet, they didn't care. But I the was... problem is, I went to a state school, so when they had to call the cops, the state cops showed up. Mm. Ooh. Yeah. That's serious. The tech schools. All, yeah, I worked Not local PD, it's state. state PD, because it's state property. Yep. Was it Troop E, Troop F, or whatever back up in Connecticut, or what? Troop G. Troop G. Yeah. yeah. They come to our school, even though we're Stratford, because it's mm -hmm. Bridgeport, Stratford line. Mm -hmm. We're adults, but we're state, right. too. No, Doc, you're about my same age, ain't you? I'm 54. Oh, I got to be by I'm I'll be 59. <laughs> yeah, I was guilty by association. That's told. I, I did the detention, though, just to hang out with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> my wife goes to detention to hang out with her friends. I'm going to detention. I, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm going to summer school to make up detentions because I went to I detention to every day after school, Monday through Friday. But I had so many to make up, I had to go to summer school for it. <laughs> I used to would sit there in summer school. You're like, you're supposed to be doing work. No, I'm here making up detentions. Oh, wow. Mm. That's you know? pretty hardcore there, Dinah. I didn't have that. Yeah, wow. we had undercover cops at yeah, we had, I was in Stanford. We didn't have that. That sounds like the plot to a movie, like 21 Jump Street or something. Yeah. Yeah, but I no, the they were there. Wow. 
that's you know, I almost I almost didn't get my gun permit because back in high school, we had a, a security guard, and I was big into kickboxing back then. And I did something. He started chasing me, and I said, wait a minute. This guy's skinny. I can just whip his ass. <laughs> <laughs> he went to grab me, and I just tore him up. I got arrested. Yeah, but, yeah, but that's before you're 18, so it's sealed, and it doesn't go against you. Well, they, they tried saying it was an assault charge. But, I mean, it, 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 finally it went away. I ended up getting it, but yeah, I had to fight, I had to fight for it. Yeah. Let's see. He goes, I have scars. Everybody doubts the story. I believe you. Wow. I mean, I don't think any of us were angels in high school except for us. I was boring. You were I an was. angel, John? I wasn't yep. an angel. I was just boring. My, my brother did all the stuff that got in trouble, and Stanford knew our name. So I you, didn't do anything. You were the kind that did something and just didn't get caught for it. Yeah. We I used, did chase somebody through the school with a Bowie knife, threatening yeah. to gut her. I used to go to homeroom, which is first period. Oh, and yep. then three of my friends and I, we leave the school and go to the diner for breakfast. Back then, you could get two eggs, bacon or sausage, home mm -hmm. fries, toast, and coffee with the juice for 99 cents. Yep. <laughs> nice. Try that now, and now it's $99. <laughs> Probably. You know, you can't. You go to McDonald's, it's just at least twenty dollars for you know. And then if it's two people, it's like forty. You're like, what the heck yeah. happened to the two dollar meal? <laughs> Dude, we go a family of five. It's forty bucks. Oof. Oh my god! I just spent forty bucks. Which is nothing to get, uh, dinner for my wife and I tonight, and we didn't really have much. It just it was just the stupid all you can eat Chinese food. Yeah, they kicked me out after three or four hours. Oh no! You you. I'll tell you what. I'll put my wife up against anybody eating. And she ain't no I don't know, me. man. That we we might have to get together just for that because oh, I, I will put money on it. Oh, loser mm -hmm. pays the bill. Gotcha. Yep. Yep. Hey, I'm pretty gangster. You, so you, you, you eat too much. Go. In a machete. Yep. I chased some guy well, in Bridgeport in a machete because he cut me off and tried to run me off the Hold road. on a second. X hand, that wasn't well, what were you talking about? 1870s when you guys had muskets? I know you're not uh, as old as DDK, but you, you know, how come you're, XN, how come he ain't on here? I'm surprised XN ain't on here. Yeah, yeah you decided you didn't want to come on, just like my friend Kelfire. She didn't want to come on either. She said she's but now she's your friend. friend. I love I love Kelfire, she's awesome. Kel said she's right. not camera ready. Neither am I. I'm never yeah. camera ready. And you know, her husband Fat White's awesome too. You know, great guy. Uh, yeah, I I watch his channels. You know. Yeah. Yeah, it's ten o'clock already. Is it really? Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. I got to go tomorrow with a friend of mine. He's going to get his bike license. Get mm. this. He's been riding since. Well, probably 40 years or more. And just now getting his license. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, that's Better late than never. Yeah. yeah. Well, we all know why now he's got to get it. Yeah, well, probably got caught. Mm -hmm. yeah. And decided he wasn't going to stop. Oh, okay. double bad. Yeah. The uh, funny part about it is, is he outbeat him. Made it home. The dumbass left his bike out in his driveway instead of putting it in the garage. Oh. Had him beat. Gone. See you later. He would have put that bike in the garage. Would have been one up for him. So, bro, do you see uh, Gremlin's comment about take the Chesapeake Bay crab challenge? Yeah, and I <laughs> responded, I'll go hungry picking crabs. <laughs> Ooh, crabs. Uh, oh, come on. I'm sure you've had about. crabs plenty of times. Yeah. You know how to get rid of crabs? Don't Not catch them. Shave half and catch the other half on fire. Uh, <laughs> that's nasty. Personal experience. Hey, okay. No, that's a line from the movie The Master. I don't know it. Good evening. Yeah, it's a really bad movie. I watched the intro and was like, nope, I'm out. But that one line stuck in my head. 
Here's a, what do you guys story. think about that Maryland bridge? Dude, I saw it. Like it's it's wild to just look out and be like, there's a ship and there's a bridge that's sitting on top of it and goes into the water and then back out of the water and then everything's disconnected on either end. I like, got the it was video wild coming down. Oh yeah. Yeah, sent me the video of it. See, 41 years before he got his license. Wow. Yeah. There was a guy in my MSF course that the state required him to take it because he had racked up four digits in fines and all the speeding tickets and everything else and didn't have a license. So he took it. And twice they counseled him. They were like, hey, you got to slow it down. You're scaring some of the more timid new riders because the guy was on a little 250 and he's just weaving through the cones and everything because he's used to like a leader bike or something. Here's my yeah. thing. My, my buddy is probably every bit of well over 300 pounds. Wow. And he's got to ride a 250. Oh, Jesus. My, my wife has got a 250 in the garage. I said, damn. I said, oh, you, you just can pick that thing up and walk around the damn lot with it, you know? So I said, call my wife up. I said, I'm going to have him come over and ride around on your 250. You know, she said, ain't no way. <laughs> Good for her. Yep. Yep. See, he's never been stopped or ticketed. Me either. I just never stopped. <laughs> on my bike, I, you know what? I can't think Happy of any chair. time I've, I've been stopped on a bike. No, I don't. I don't think I have. Let me tell you something. I will blow my motor up before I get beat or stopped. Connecticut can't. Change. Maybe not now, but before. I don't care. I'd blow it up. In Maryland, they'll do a pit maneuver on a bike. Really? Yeah, Connecticut. They yeah, there, there was a uh, there was a Maryland Transportation Authority officer driving on a toll road that it's like 17 miles long and the MTA administers it. So that's, that's it, literally for, bodily harm. listen for the first two years, they didn't even do professional courtesy. You'd see Stadies and County Mounties pulled over by these MTA guys like every day. And then last summer there was three guys on bikes and they were flying down the road. And one of them happened to crash into the back of one of the MTA cars and I swear to goodness, you can see the faintest of skid marks behind that car where he just came over and the guy ran right back, right in the back of him. Yeah. Hey, Calfar, sorry for the loss yeah. of your local hog uh, member. That that's sucked. horrible. Wow. Sorry, prayers, man. Yep. But mm -hmm. hello, uh, Motor Rambler. Hey, and Patrick. Texas Rider. Hello, guys. Texas Rider, hello. Moto Ramblings is my buddy, Patrick. Patrick. Oh, what's up, Patrick? Yeah, he does uh he does videos on YouTube. He's riding a Goldwing and a V-Strom. I I want to say it's a 650. I don't know. It's an off-road bike. He rides through North Carolina doing all the trails and stuff. Yep. He's a hell of a rider. Yeah, I follow I watch his, some of his uh What is it? They're good. Mr. Motor Rambler in the house. Motor Rambler. Well, yeah, Motor Rambler. It's well worth a watch. Absolutely. I've taken I've taken him under my wing and taught him everything I know. <laughs> Not about riding, just about YouTube. <laughs> oh, okay. And I, editing, I haven't put nothing out. Nothing. Can I, hey, John, can I download your brain on editing? Sure. Because I, 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 that's my weakest thing is editing, and I'm not very you good know. at it. So. Dude, I, uh, I'm really focusing this year on the editing tutorials, trying to help everybody out that, that wants to use DaVinci Resolve. And so if there's an editing question, send me a message and yeah, sure. I'll answer it sometimes via video. Yeah. I've got uh, I've got a number of tutorials coming up. Even uh, Evil Rick. Evil Rick sent me some files and I tinkered with them and I got a whole video out of it that I think is going to be very interesting for some of the people that want to do kind of motion graphics, intro and outro type of stuff. Yeah. Now, is that something that you have to do or... Oh, no, you can do what I do is just put the video together and trim the fat. You don't have to. You don't have to do anything, but you want to add a little extra polish to it or a little extra something, then, yeah, you're going to figure things out, learn how to do them, and yeah, add them into your process. Like See, Corey's how, editing. How, his theme song and all that, there's theme stuff in, in the beginning of it. I want to do that on mine, but. I, you got to get the royalty-free music for it. 
royalty free music. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. He always he's editing, audio library. And his videos are so off the hook. Yeah, Corey, you got some cool videos. <laughs> I like watching your stuff. It's almost cinematic. Yeah. <laughs> Ride the bike or just hit record. That's it. You know who's pretty good too is what's that guy, John there, John Cycle Fanatics? Yeah. yeah. He just got another another new bike. Yeah, he got that new uh, road line. Mm-hmm. Yep. So Kelp fire uses epidemic sound, sound. Yeah. I don't have the budget for it. It's expensive. You know, he he's he's got so many subscribers and so much stuff that people are just there. You go, put it out there. You get so many. That's you know, awesome. Yeah, it is great, man. I wish I yeah. saw he got a new seat from Saddleman, put it yeah. on his bike. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I mean, I I applaud the guy 100 percent Yeah. Uh, Me working on my bike with a video would be working on my bike, Crown Royal, sip. Oh, another sip. <laughs> yeah. And then that royal, you're like. And then me staggering and tipping over my bike. Yeah. So, Dude, so you'd get my, a lot of views doing that. A lot of my, my video for Sunday, I actually got to the halfway point and I started listening to music to do a little bit of things. And next thing I know, I'm like, damn it, it's all back together. I didn't film it. <laughs> Oops. I think I'm going to take one of my junk bikes and do that. Drink and knock over my bike, pick it all up. Oh, whoops, whoops, do all that soup. I think that'd be pretty funny. Hey, Dom is here. Hey, Dom. Hey, Dom. PA, that would be hilarious. You should totally do it. I'm thinking about it. Once you I get should. back, I can stop moving around more. Maybe I will. Yeah, just don't pick up motors. No. Right, Corey? Mm -hmm. no more <laughs> I'll be picking up motors again. Oh, what are you doing? Uh, mocking up the chopper. I was oh, just gonna yeah. ask, ask it, how is the chopper coming? Still waiting on the seat pan, really? Yep, so I don't even have the frame here to do anything. Yeah, so you kind of hold with that. Yep. I need to order the uh, the, the sprockets and the chain, uh, I need to order a, a horn. Uh, which I've decided I also need to order a voltage regulator. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, what to ask? Just a two wire one. Then, uh, you know, get all those brackets welded on. You know, mount the, the motor, the trans, just the inner part of the open primary, just to get everything in line. Line up all the, uh, the final drive. I need to order a rear brake rotor, rear brake pads. Get brake lines, front rear, speedometer, speedometer cable. Uh, yep. It's just an end, endless, endless list. I wish I started with a uh, a sporty and did a, a chop, you know, a swap to uh, a, a, a rigid frame on that because it would have been almost done. Right. But when you're doing it from the ground up, and you're sourcing every part, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. every part. You know, you're not taking something that was already meant to be. And, you know, I'm taking parts that were part of something else and then making them all work together. Yeah, right. In harmony. So it's it's been quite the challenge. I will say this. I, I, it has been quite the challenge. Uh, one is funding. <sighs> To is sponsorship and I'm thankful for everybody for all their help with all the uh, raffles and things like that and helped me raise money for this. It's gotten me far, but you know, it, it's still quite a ways off, you know, you'll get there eventually. Eventually I'll get there and uh, you know, I'm still shooting by uh, January having the bike done. That'd be cool. Yep, and I still got to figure out the style of the exhaust and get that ordered. Right. And get those tabs welded on the frame 
before I send that out for uh, powder coat. Hmm. I know what my other question was. Speaking of uh, charging systems, buddy of mine bought a 1992 Harley. I want to say it's Electroglide. Okay. Uh, 92, it's an Evo. Yeah, it's an Evo. Um, so he got it home and the thing didn't want to stop back up. Thought it was the battery. Put it on trickle charge. Nothing. Went out, bought a new battery. Drove it down the road, and the voltages dropped. Kept dropping. Okay. He's got a charging system issue. Yep. So I thought maybe voltage regulator. Or you want to be a stator. You have three parts to your charging system. You got a stator, a voltage regulator, and a battery. And the battery. That's so it's it definitely got to be his stator then because he did the battery. When he put the voltage regulator in, it started right up with no problem. But as he was riding, losing the voltage again. So I figured it was a stator. It could be. Um, I hate to say it like every YouTuber does. I have a video for that and how to troubleshoot your charging system. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, I have a video for that. All right. Um, I did. I Actually, I've done two. The better the one was done this past summer. Is the status like in the primary or something? Yes. Like he will have to remove his outer primary, his clutch basket, his uh, compensator sprocket. That's all going to have to come off. He'll have to remove his inner primary to get that stator wheel off and his stator off. And he's better off when he gets this new stator, get a stator wheel with it, and uh, get all new bolts and mm -hmm. locking tabs for the inner primary. Okay. Because the last thing you want to do is when you put that thing together, have them back out on you inside a closed up system like that. Yeah, it could and be. Some of the bolts on, you got to read the manual. I don't remember which ones they were, uh, but some of the bolts that go into the motor have to have uh, black silicone on the threads to seal them. If not, it will leak oil. Hey, can I learn recent? And, Doc, I learned recently watching some medical professional of Harley something or others saying that some of these Harley bolts are one-time use only. Yeah, I read yeah. something like that, too. See? That's how I prove I watch your videos. Yeah. And the only reason why they're one-time use only is that they little stretch. rubber seal. No? That they don't stretch a little bit? Well, it all depends on how they're assembled because you have a torque range. We're but, missing people. On, on the M8, yeah, Corey just fell off again. He had the wheel of death. Um, but on the M8, the inner primary bolts are one-time use only because of that little rubber seal. Hmm. Okay, okay. All right. So I even I have an inner primary? Yes. Yeah, yeah. we all do. And a clutch. And a clutch. Hey, you got a motor, too. No, you can't hear it, though. Yeah. Uh, See, I don't have a compensator on soft tail on my soft tail. I got I'll rid come. of it. Oh, I'm, I'm still overcompensating. I went to direct drive. Nice. That's, that's my next my next thing on my. Well, well, you gotta you gotta be careful when you go to direct drive, because that compensator takes up the pulses. So without that, like for with the direct drive, like I have, you have to do one of two things or both of them like I did is true your your crankshaft slug and weld your pinion your wrist pin to your flywheels because if you don't they can't twist on you that sounds way over my head I'm gonna keep it stock for now well that we're we're talking when you're making big big horsepower oh I don't need that no, no. I'm happy it's I can do 120 on my bagger and I'm happy with that yeah, mine, mine just, topped out at one fourteen according to what I saw on YouTube. I think I don't know. I think I've had the highest I've had my douchebagger was maybe one twenty two, maybe something like that. I wasn't but, stupid. Enough, I wasn't stupid enough to look down to see how fast I was going. Well, not yeah. too long ago, I was on the highway with a few others, and we were headed back from Orlando, doing one hundred and thirty up I four. Allegedly, no, I admit it. Okay, I'm not, I'm not scared of speed at all. 
There's no proof. Yeah. I have proof of the 35 miles an hour I ride at. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't know what it is. I just, when I get going, I got to go. When mm -hmm. I'm on the highway, if, if you ain't keeping up with me, I don't know what to tell you. I'll see you when I get there. Just don't do that in Virginia. Huh? Just don't do it in Virginia. No. If you're going over 80 in Virginia, you can go straight to jail. Really? Oh, yeah. And, it's it's a, a, and, and if you don't go to jail, it's still a must-appear ticket. Oh, man. I'm glad I never got caught in Virginia because I repped through Virginia many times. Oh, yeah. They, they don't play on the highways down there. See? Corey's got it right. Speed doesn't kill. It's the sudden stop that does. Exactly. Horsepower is how fast you go. Torque is how much of the wall you take with you when you go through it. That's <laughs> it. Direct, Direct deposit. deposit. Horse. Oh, go. I like it. Get now it's Dinah's just making up numbers. 128 out of my 103. Oh, he's talking kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a hey, twin Dave's cam joke. Here. Hey, Dave's here, man. Hey, Dave's here, man. Are you are you actually home, Dave, or are you like on the road? I'm with Route 32, back road at 45. It's just nice cruising along, having a yeah, good old I time. I do that too, and I enjoy it. To yeah. be honest with you, I just depend on the mood I'm in. <laughs> Dino, we're just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Doc might be serious. No, I, I don't know if they if they go kilometers or miles per hour in New Zealand. I've never been, so now I know they use that miles per hour. There you go. Doc, you would have fun. fast. You would have huh? fun riding the chip. Hmm? What was that road? You would have fun riding with chip. Oh yeah. Probably would. I have oh, fun riding God. with anybody. He is just oh. He just doesn't care. Who doesn't like the twisties? Dude, that Patrick put out a video recently where he's scraping on every corner on his gold wing. Just awesome. I watched it and I was like, I'm busy. I need a Dramamine and a nap. I tell you, I'm looking forward to the Hoot and Annie. 130 I'm miles and 1,300 going, turns. Yeah, cool. I want to do that. You can have it. It'll take That's you three days. That's a nice twisty road. Mm -hmm. That switch would take me three days. Up. You got switch back. Why would it take you three days? I'd stop and light a cigar every hour. And I ride slow. Well, even if you did, let's say, 50 miles an hour, it's less than three hours. You just said it's a lot of turns. I a do lot. like five miles an hour through the turns. Oh. If you're doing five miles an hour in the turns, then. You best stay on the highway. I'm a very conservative <laughs> rider. And, not, hey, and John, there's nothing wrong with that. No, there's nothing. John, you ride your ride and don't worry about anybody That's else. It. I, I don't. Dude, I was on that ride Saturday and there was nine of us. And the guy leading was on a 40 horsepower Royal Enfield. And I watched him go through corners and he had it leaned way the hell over. And then there was like three crotch rockets behind him. And the one guy was on track tires. And he's doing this across his own lane on the straightaways and just uh -huh. meow, meow. and uh, then I was in the back smoking my cigar, having a good old time, catching and up on coffee. the straightaways. And my coffee, yeah. John, where are you from? Where you live? Just north of DC. Oh, okay. So yeah, it really ain't too too far from me, I guess, right? No, I'm an hour and fifteen minutes from Gettysburg. So are you going to Gettysburg at all? Yeah, I think we're going on, to Bam again. Yeah, but you should. I'm going to be in Gettysburg on Thursday and Friday and Saturday and Sunday. Well, I will be in. I'll be leaving Thursday to go to VAM and coming back Sunday. Oh, okay. So you won't be able to. That's the plan. That's the current plan. If all works out, are you going to Ocean City? I would love to. I don't know. It's, dude, that's right in the middle of soccer season for the kids. So, gotcha. you know, it's. When you got small kids, you got all this scheduled crap. Like right now, we have three nights a week doing practice for this, that, and the other thing. Yeah. Yeah, all my video equipment. <laughs> States. Oh, okay. So they do use kilometers. 
but the street bob is from the states and not one of these country specs. He says he's a speedometer wild um, with stock suspension. Yeah, we have a fix for that. Yeah, we do. It's called Suspension Technologies. Yes, sir. Buy from RightH2.com. Okay. Upgraded to Progressive 490. It's a decent shock. It's much I know better. where Rockville is, Gremlin. Yeah. Good night, Route 32. Good night, Ro Good night, Tom. Have a good one. Thanks for stopping in. Yeah, I'm about ready to jump out of here, too. I got Yeah, we're going on two and a half hours. It's about time. Uh, for his Goldwing, I don't know what's available for Goldwing for suspension, to be honest with you. Oh, Goldwing suspension is the same thing as the Little Tykes car, right? <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I missed Corey. So, I'm yeah, kidding, so kidding. yeah, we're going on two and a half hours. So give everybody the five minute warning. We're gonna end this in five minutes. Good. I got video editing to do. Yeah, I gotta go to bed. I got work in the morning. Yeah, I gotta oh. go. Yeah. Oh, see, he says it's the same as a Honda Accord. <laughs> McPherson struts up front, <laughs> unequal length half shafts in the back. Mm. Yep. It's about all I know. I'm surprised you know the actual strut name. Come on, mid. All the commercials in the 90s and early aughts were like, we fe we feature McPherson struts and multi-link rear suspension and yada, yada. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. The I just know what's on my bike now. Yeah. I know what's I'm on my bike now. Cheers for starting an hour earlier. No, I started right at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Well, Doc knows what's on my bike for shocks now. <laughs> yes. Yep. I actually like them. He got the takeoffs from a, a 2022. Nice. Yep. And which are much better than the air shocks that Harley gave him. My, my buddy called me up and goes, oh, my... My shock on my bike is screwed up. I got to buy another one. They want so much for the whole set. I said, come over to the house. He's like, why? I said, just come on over. I got something for you. And I handed him the box that you gave me with my old shocks in it because he's got the same ones. I said, here you go. Yeah. You, thank you. I love these things. I'm like, well, let me yeah, give you a website. <laughs> yeah. Good night, Oakley. Later, Gremlin. Good night, Frog. All right. So I'm going to give PA Biker the first bit of his final thoughts as he tries to stay awake. My yeah, my final thoughts is uh, thank you, Doc and Mel, for having having me on here. Uh, it's it's no been problem. great as always. Um, I always look forward. We're eating dinner tonight. I said I got to get home because Doc's on tonight. And my wife said, "Okay, let's go." I appreciate but, that. You know, I, I I don't miss it. I I if I miss it, you know, there's something wrong. Yep. Um, hey, you didn't even miss it when you're in the hospital. <laughs> no, I did not. High as a kite, I still came on. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I appreciate you. But uh, you know, we appreciate all you do for everything and this, you know, this YouTube and uh I just uh you guys uh behave yourself and uh you know what I got for you in Gettysburg. Um yep. look forward to seeing you. Yeah, John, take care of yourself. It's always good to see you, it's always good laugh. Likewise. All right, man. Good night. God bless everybody. You, you too. too. All right. Now I know I'm asking for trouble, John. <laughs> All right. Thanks for your final thoughts. <laughs> my, my final thoughts are everybody ride safe. The riding season for most is just starting. So please be safe out there. And remember the two mantras. One, you have a 100% track record of making it through a bad day. And two, do something nice for yourself every day. Maybe yeah. it's learning the lingo about this motorcycle thing we're into. Oh, there you go. Yeah, nice. Again, yeah, off the cuff, tough. even. Just and thanks a lot, Doc, for having me on too. Yeah, you know. Uh, and you know, John, anytime, man, anytime. So, with all that being said, I thank everybody who was in the side chat tonight, hanging out. I'd like to thank all my panel guests that volunteered to come on tonight. I really appreciate you. Also, like to thank my wife for sitting up here and being on camera with me. She's awesome. And with all that being said, everybody. <laughs>
I want everybody to literally, this comes from my heart, live the best life you can, ride often, and ride as hard as you want.